asking what your problem is. What's going on? You all right? What? Okay. What? 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 Say who? What? Say what? what? Say what? Say what? what? Say what? Who? What? Who? 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 Crazy. Crazy. Oh. Is there a way for me to mute everybody? <laughs> yeah, take your out. You do it all the time. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> Just asking for a friend. <laughs> Not for me, just for a friend. You, they were asking. <laughs> oh, look, Mara's here. Yay. Omara. Omara. She's got cords. She's plugging things in. She's got no headset. She's got no nothing. She's got her European tank top on because it's 100 million degrees. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Can we oh, mute yeah. him? Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> Yeah, adding me or removing me from the stream doesn't stop it. Oh my goodness, you're so bad. <laughs> well, now that we have everybody, let's go ahead and get stouty. We got three cameras off, four on. Evidently, Samara is hanging upside down inside of a closet. So she was feeling very You're uncomfortable. You're not supposed to give away my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's because you're Batgirl, right? Exactly. Batgirl! Yeah. Secrets! <laughs> you I hear your kids like laughing that? at you. He thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Well, of course it's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Welcome to session. So I went back in my notes. Um, this is actually, uh, let me double check because today is session 85 on, or on our Twitch with this wonderful group. But we had 15 previous sessions that we met. So technically today is 100. We have met for 100 sessions as of today. OMG. You people are in crazy. You're crazy and you're insane. Hanging out with the lunatic likes of me. Though I do appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Happy Tuesday, everybody. How are we doing? Other than we're all melting in the heat because we are a West Coast group, aren't we? And it is freaking hot this week. Hot. Yep, yep, yep. It's very hot. It's very hot. Why am I not in the pool? That that damn pool makes me itch. I don't know what got put in it. Oh, I already checked. It's the free chlorine levels too high. Okay. So I got to figure out a way to so fix that. We have to charge for chlorine. Just the free chlorine levels that are high. So this is why I don't use really big words with her. It's just such a waste. Paid chlorine. We need paid chlorine <laughs> instead of free chlorine. Sure. Right? Yeah. Sure. Sounds sure. legit. Evidently, we're the only two that are going to banter today. So everybody else is clearly melty, or or I know what it is. Everybody's busy remembering they're supposed to level up their characters to level nineteen. So they're doing. <laughs> The typical last minute tweaks to their characters before we get started. No, I just need to figure out what I put as my feet. I forgot. Well, they're the things on the bottom of your legs. No, I have until after 2 p.m. Are you kidding me right now? Not kidding you right now. Oh, I'm sorry. So you just got your. Mara, you and I will be chatting later. <laughs> student roster as of two o'clock today? No, two thirty. For the first time, saw my list of students. It was two more students than I previously had. I had to set an entirely new set of tables together. Oh wow! 
yeah so it's it's i'm a little i have to like make a seating chart i have to like put them in groups I, it's <laughs> Wait, what was that seeing chart? It looked like just a bunch of circles. This is my room. <laughs> That's a very high tech That's way that shit, elementary school man. teachers That's work. Man. Shit. <laughs> that was me hastily drawing my brand new room that I just moved into two weeks ago, so I knew what it looked like, so I could do my seating chart at home. Otherwise, I'd still be sitting in my classroom right now, not playing D and D. Hey, that's uh, a good. We're gonna put that one on the refrigerator. <laughs> 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 hey everybody Just welcome to tuesday night denizens <laughs> and their masters as the storm chasers continue well let's face it um they are very much deep into the final arc of this adventure this campaign and to summarize tonight we're gonna go way back as we are in a very unique space at this point when this team met, it wasn't exactly the original team. Some of, most have gone, and uh, what we have left over is what we have left over. Now that I come to think of it, I think we originally started off as a group of uh, seven or eight, didn't we? Um, mm -hmm. And then both uh, the lizard folk and the um, Asborn's brother uh, within game left, which kind of left Asborn hanging because I know they had made a dual kind of build based off of each other's um, constructs. But the team came together under very kind of unusual conditions. Both the Kova's Conclave and the politics <clears throat> of the Menagerie Coast were slowly being undone and manipulated by an individual that went by the name of Shulaman, as well as this individual this creature called Tira Ling and they came across the paths of a rather powerful artificer gnome that went by the name of Qualish. All of these three things felt unique at the time but over the course of the last nearly year of in-game time things have unfolded and things have formed around Shulaman's pact that the time was thought to be Zarel's influence via the Tierling prophet or conduit into the material world and utilizing both the creature at sea as well as Qualish's innate ability to construct fiendish creatures as a way to create paranoia and fear along the Menagerie coast and then possibly cause the entire area to descend into warfare with the neighboring um, uh, Dwindal Empire and the Zorhashians. However, our team began to pick apart this plan. Unfortunately, not planned by anyone was the setting loose of a particular creature from the Stormlord's Vault, which created a slight diversion for the team to Darkto, but it also created an opportunity by an individual that goes by the name of Shulaman, um, who used it as a way to bring, well, the many deep planes of existence, he picked two in particular, brought them together and managed to create a tear, a destructive void in the material plane and the astral sea. Casting the storm chasers out of the material plane. And what do you do when you get cast out of the material plane and you need a ride home? You steal an airship from the Githyanki. And that is how they returned some four to five months later after being within the Astral Sea. Um, once returned, they realized that they were kind of the focus of the ire of most of the political uh, environments of the Menagerie Coast, as it seemed that they had caused the destruction of not only Darktoe, um, but created some other political concerns. However, the gentleman and the um, uh, uh, Mara's, uh, the Brecht family, the, um, the ghost hunters, uh, still kind of kept a torch lit and hoped that they would return. And they did, but they kept it secret for a while, while the team began to decipher exactly who was to blame for all of this. And once it was focused in on Shulaman, it seemed that Shulaman was hatching his final efforts to not only take over Nicodronus, but possibly take over the entire Menagerie Coast under um, his thumb. 
However, once again, the team interfered. They found the obsidian tower that was creating the hellish gate that was being used to funnel creatures from Avernus into the material plane. The tower was destroyed and the hellish gate closed. This gave our team an opportunity to breathe as they, uh, as it allowed Darktoe to come back into existence, although not nearly the level of its former self. It has some time to go before it repairs itself and successfully recovered from the nefarious doings of one um, infamous Tobias who had um, done some uh, nefarious activity um, there as well. But Nicodronus was taken out of siege. Things had calmed down. Shulaman had gone into hiding. Um, and things seemed to normalize for a bit. The team had four months to um, do whatever it is they wanted to conclude with the anticipation that the summer would begin when they returned. They found themselves completing tasks, doing research, uh, creating equipment, armor, setting into their new digs outside of Nicodronus. Then they were tasked with returning the Zarhashian queen back to her um, uh, kingdom, affording her the opportunity to uh, take in the morrow and to take in the Dwendalian Empire during this return. It was a particular favor asked of by the Zahefe. During this trip, they encountered a particular group. Um, and I have their name here, and I wish I could be better at remembering it. Um, to, to, to the Order of the Aspect. The Order of the Aspect seemed to be creating these terror engines as well as um, either creating conspiracies within the Morrow uh, Valley and the uh, the northern part of the Dwendalian Empire and trying their best to erode its um, er erode its ability to function as a kingdom. However, the team once again interfered in Trustenvald, destroyed the caravan that was on its way north to do whatever it was bound to do. And it would seem that the Order of the Aspects infrastructure was, at least if not nearly destroyed, um, significantly damaged in whatever they were doing. However, our team um, managed to foil a plot to kidnap Samara, as her mother has gained a great deal of influence within the Morrow. Uh, due to the resurgence of the Luxodon capital city, now known as the Ivory City, or the Ivory Heart. All of these things caused the team to have, the Storm Chasers to have an encounter with the Lich Dragon and Qualish who wrote it, or at least a version of Qualish that wrote it, and they managed to fend off this attack. Eventually, they were asked to take, take a look at the Hollyhead um, town and community, as they were instructed to possibly look into the now missing uh, estate of the Mad Wizard um, that was involved in some previous nefarious activities, as this may have been turned into another possible gateway into Avernus. Discovering the gateway and making their way down into Avernus in Dis, a very unique discovery was made. It turned out that Qualish has made a pact with the Chained Oblivion, had trapped um, Zarel inside her own um, tower and it was this knowledge that led Thyssen to finally unburden himself with the Despater lineage um, and he is finally mortal and free of his previous curse that the Stormlord had inflicted upon him but of course the final act was the fact that Thyssen also concluded the Stormlord's curse in such a way that Despater now has has recovered his missing heir to his throne. But Tobias was the one that had a conversation with Despater and Zarel, made a pact with Zarel, and for this pact, he was given his duplicate self. There are now two Tobiases. One that looks like the typical Tobias and the other one that looks, well, a shabby, a shabby copy to say the least. Um, not quite as well kept, 
the coloration quite odd, almost like looking at a black and white cartoon compared to a colorized cartoon. But the team finally left Avernus after sorting out the details of the pact. The pact basically stating that they would try to defeat or destroy Qualish, who had made an agreement with the Chained Oblivion, as far as they know. And once that was concluded, Tobias would be free of his duplicate self, and he would no longer be under the obligation of the pact. Back in Hollyhead, the team put together a plan to head north. They figured out where the possible island would be that would contain Qualish's captured self, um, as well as the great sea creature from the Feywild um, that needed to still yet be returned to an, a relative or a, a person claimed to be the sister of Artagnan, the goes by the Traveler and, and uh, the beginnings of the foundation of the Traveler happening. But all this has culminated in the procurement of a new airship, uh, an air coach. In case anybody wants to know what it looks like, it looks like this. Which is what you guys are currently. Oh, it's so pretty. That's what you guys are currently flying on. Um, and using the, I think it was the Silver Moon, I believe is the name of it. Using the Silver Moon to head north. Moonlight. Or the Moonlight. The uh, Moonlight. To use the, uh, the, to use the Moonlight to head north. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to head north like the blue cheese. into um, an area that is, for the most part, the wild borders between the Zorhashian Empire and the Menagerie Coast, as well as the Dwendal Empires. A huge jungle scape, landscape devoid of any kind of major infrastructure, cities, there are coastal communities that exist there, but the team settled, settled their 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 notion on an island that goes by the name of Chondra. And this island seemed to be the most closest proximity to where they believe the construct island that the maybe the original or the live Qualish or the actual Qualish may be. But the team traveled. And now they're beginning to notice something ever since they tried to recover the Qualish vessel um, airship from Nicodronus, is that the veil of magic and its control is weakening and is gradually becoming wild in nature. Some days more stable than others, some days more uh, disastrous than others. The airship seems to be functioning and the team has just survived an attack by swarms of entities crashing through tears in the magical veil and where we're last left off you guys have defeated these the undead dragon and these swarms of strange looking creatures that came through some of these tears and as the ship drifts on into the night more tears can be seen some close some far away some below some up high deck is strewn with the body parts left over from the swarm. It's still the start, or mid-evening. You are on, I believe, day three or night three of a four-day journey to the island of Chandra. Mm -hmm. Did we take a long rest? Not, Not yet. yet. Oof. <clears throat> we need to... <clears throat> What I'll clean off like the deck do? and then <clears throat> go to bed. Throw the throw all the corpses <laughs> overboard. Yeah, I just would, chuck them over. More like, it's more like body parts. Gross. Yeah. I'd like to feed the insects in my jar a piece of rotting meat. Okay. Do the corpses on the ground count as rotting meat? Are we gonna just can you just fresh. throw it overboard? No insects on my throw them overboard. <laughs> They're gonna turn into something bad. <laughs> Okay. Isn't um, it a lot of like just like bones and, and I'll give and you a torch. Stuff? Do we really want that? I don't think we do. I'm literally like sweeping them off the deck. Yeek. Okay, I was just Kicking finding out if off. they were rotting meat so that I could feed them to my bugs. They're fresh. Fresh bugs. I don't think they're fresh. Are they fresh? 
DM. Um, give me a nature check as you examine one of the many or, parts that are strewn on the deck. I can do that because I know nature, sort of. <laughs> That's I know. Uh, a hundred <laughs> sessions later, and she still says that. I throw a bucket overboard nature, and bring maybe. some water up. Uh, I got a nineteen. Nineteen. Um, give me a medicine check with advantage as well. Medicine. What do I know about med? Oh, I know a lot about medicine with advantage. <laughs> you guys are not going to believe what I just rolled. Was it a twenty or a one? Take a guess. A one. A twenty and a it one. It was. Two ones. <laughs> yes. Awesome. <laughs> so total Those of eight. Samara, those are the Samara ro rolls we've come to love. Um, yeah. The Will you Wheaton curse lives on. You definitely don't get the feeling that these things are natural by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but they're so not no constructs pain. similar to what Polish has made before. These things are from another plane of existence. You're just not entirely mm -hmm. sure which. But they're not like rotting. Um, no, they're dissolving, but they're not rotting. Oh, gross. Um, Fire, I would not feed these to your bugs, because they're not, okay. like, natural. No, they might make your them. bugs do something weird. Go ahead and feed them. Oh, now Tobias says, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, um, not feed them. I'll pull out some of the... Deal with it. I'll pull out some of the, um... <laughs> rotting meat that I have stored in my in my pack with under, um, under the the um, general pose charm okay so that it doesn't rot anymore okay okay um, do we want to set up another watch so that we can actually get some rest who's feeling so who's okay taking, so who's taking first watch I'm okay I can, I mean, I took a lot of damage, but I still had a lot of hit points. I can take I'll take, first, I'll take first watch and then. Okay. I, so Mara, I, Tobias first. Second, second watch. I can go second. I would like third. Okay. I heard. I can go second. That's fine. So Asborn, Samara taking second. Mara and Tobias taking first. Fire and Thyson taking third watch at this point. Yep. So mid evening turns into late evening eventually. Any last minute things anyone wants to do before we execute the watch? How many tattoos can I have on my body? Um, how much space how much you got? Body do you have? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, sh two shoulders, forearms, you know, biceps. Well, because I've got legs, I've, chest, stomach. I mean, because I want to give myself more of my medicine -y tattoos, just like in case of emergencies. Okay. Uh, but I think I've got one on me already. Is it okay if I give myself another one? I mean, how many sure. can I give? Yeah, I mean, you can... I mean, I would say you could probably have up to a dozen if you chose to. Sweet. Uh, but okay. each one takes anywhere from, you know, two to four hours to apply. Well, while we're settling in and while I'm on first watch, I want to give myself another one. Okay. So you're already proficient in it. So you can go ahead and apply a tattoo before going... Um, into your beginnings of your rest and then eventually second watch. I would like to write in my journal before I go to bed. Okay. Anything specific? Uh, about the fight with the Dracolich and stuff. The, the, you know. Oh, fire. Yeah. Really quick. Did I give that spell slot necklace back to you or did I keep it? You kept it. Okay, but we had you like expend the spell slots, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so then on my watch, I'm also going to be working on that, filling those up with something. I say, I say, we banish Thyssen for to try and dispel, you know, discharge the, you know, yeah, <laughs> just because. <laughs> and, banish, uh, asshole. See if you can make it back. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm, we're not doing it. Um, and then, uh, there's a cure wounds. So anyone want cure wounds? I mean, we're about to take a rest, but go ahead. Whatever you need. Okay. Cause I'll cure wounds myself. I mean, do it. I only have 62 hit really points. Do anything. Oh, oh you see, I'm at like 157 or something. Like rotted fine. meat for your dumb flies. <laughs> <laughs> do you really Give like yourself a disease. Flies? I really Give like yourself disease. Flies. 
I'll give you a disease. Hey, where'd she put that uh, back in her back in her pouch or what? No, it's the raw meat, rotten meat, or no, the, the fireflies. flies. The fireflies. The fireflies. Are just in the backpack. Okay, great. They're not in the. They're not in the uh, bag of holding because they're okay. extra space in themselves. Oh, okay. The jar of fireflies. It's magic. Mm -hmm. It's magic. It's magic. What, so, what do, you, what do they do? Do they destroy monsters or something? No, they do daylight. Uh, you. Okay. <laughs> they're, a, they're a gross, smelly flashlight, is what you're saying. No, the insects don't smell, just their food does. Yeah, smell your hand right now. Uh, oh, uh, that's, that's, that's inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriately accurate. That's right. I will banish. I don't know. Okay. Banish one of the bodies. Just banish a body. Get it right. I don't know if you can banish them after they're dead. Oh. I think it has to be alive just, to banish it. Just burn it. We're swabbing the deck right now. Throw it overboard. We're up in the air. I got Mara, the first mate, swabbing the deck. One creature that you can see within range. So, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Think about it being dead or alive. It's the create some water, swab it. Yeah, we needed some kind of like little hobbit or something we could kick around and make him throw all the pieces of meat off the ship and stuff. Wow. Hundred hey, elemental or something. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one when next place we stop. We're not no, doing not that. Not buying a human or non-human. What? Samara, can't you conjure an elemental to help us clean up? And I conjure an elemental. Banish that. Okay. Bye, friend. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll I'm say gonna... over the course of like 20 minutes, it helps conjure water elemental that kind of like just cleans off the deck and, you know, the, the viscera that was left over from the combat. Um, and then discharging the spell, <laughs> it's banished back to the plane of water. Okay. Mm -mm. Cool. Thank you. I will figure out what spells I'm going to put in there while we're on watch. Up, not up to level four. Up to level four. You got it. Up to level four. So nothing higher than level four. I can't believe you don't like my insects. I love my jar of fireflies. I'm so kind of pet. Heard, I'm so glad I heard insects and not incest. <laughs> yeah, right? We're really different. can't believe you don't like They're different in definition, but the sounds was pretty similar. That is, that is a true, that is true. Just saying. Just saying. All right, any uh, last minute activities other than what you guys just did? Anybody... Whatever Everybody we need good? to do so the question you're asking will be fulfilled so whatever was going to happen to us doesn't happen. So anyways, now that Tobias <laughs> isn't playing anymore, let's move on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody roll me a d20, please. Oh, uh, badness. A 16. Okay. We don't know that that's badness. Could be goodness. So, never good. <laughs> <laughs> Ye of little faith. Currently, when was the last time someone asked you to roll a d20 among an entire party? Was something good happened. Thing. Good happened. <laughs> never. So, um, uh, uh, Mara and uh, Tobias, you're on first watch, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, both of you go ahead and give me perception checks, please. Require a dice. Yes, it would. This is D and D. Nineteen. Thirty-two. Uh, twenty-three. Twenty-two. Your watch goes pretty undisturbed. The only thing that you notice that's odd is that the the tears and the spatial displacement becomes more random. A little bit more frequent. Um, there's almost kind of like an arcane storm that is beginning to brew um, in the westerly direction out at sea. 
Um, but it feels very far away. But it doesn't really... It's almost like an electrical storm in appearance. But it, it, it definitely has a strange vibe to it. And you can even see little small kind of arcane explosions and tears that open and close and open and close. And you see off of the distance as small groups or individual creatures are kind of gradually, you know, they just make their way through these portals and then they fade away. Um, Mara, with your affinity for the ethereal, um, your natural inclination is that the veil is getting weaker. Right. Um, something right. is causing magic to become extremely unstable. Like maybe it's being absorbed or maybe something's interfering with it. You're not entirely sure. But by the end of your watch, you realize that the storm is growing way out in the distance. And other than that, nothing has approached the ship too closely. Does this um, remind me of the storm that I saw when I um, plane shifted and they was like throwing the lightning or whatever? No, that one seemed more massive in size and was particularly affecting just the ethereal plane. Like it was focused on that. This feels like shotgun rounds going out into different planes of existence as the magic is being wild and kind of like poking out different planes of existence. Okay. This feels a lot more chaotic. Okay. Uh, should we go over there? That sounds like a terrible plan. <laughs> so yes! <laughs> Absolutely, we should. Uh, Tobias, give me a survival check as you try to figure out how far that storm is from your current position. Okay. Survival. Eleven. Uh, it could be four hours. Could be twelve hours. Hard to tell. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. What do you guys think? Is it just us? Yeah, she's no. like, we're all asleep. asleep. What do you think? Sure. Why not? I mean, the and that's where all the trouble is, right? Yeah, this is probably where Qualish is. It does not match the chart to Chandra. This is further direct west away from the shoreline. Well, but. Yeah. Oh, do you remember? Remember we saw that island, right? Yeah. Maybe that's it. Oh, maybe. And isn't that where we need to go? Yeah, because remember it was like a, a made up island, like we the want, one we, we want one of the fingers, don't we? Yeah, right. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, I changed course. Can I help um, you plot the course? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, give me a fresh So mad at y'all when I wake up. Yes, you are. <laughs> I don't know why you left the two of us together. <laughs> this is a terrible plan. Hey, anytime a first mate agrees with me, I'm doing it. I'm such an enabler for Tobias. That's right. That's true. And she's only gotten worse now that the kids are at home with their father. Although, at least she yeah. I am very reckless now. So as you chart the new course, give me, um, give me a survival check. With advantage, because you do have the maps. Who's doing the charting? Give me a roll. It's Tobias, but I'm helping, so does he get advantage? What is what, what um, do I have to roll? Uh, survival. Oh, why do I have survival all the time? Horrible. I got a seven. Seven? <laughs> um, you know I got I navigation, mean, right? <laughs> you don't have navigation. That's not even yes, a skill. Yes, I do. It is, too. I have navigation tools. Well, yeah, but that that either one gives you advantage. Oh, I don't. I didn't roll advantage on it. Oh, okay. Good. Then you didn't hear Mara. Mara gave you advantage. Oh, you okay. So that's, that's better. I got twelve. <laughs> so much better. As far as you can tell, Tobias does his best to chart a course in the direction of the storm. Yeah, um, that's right. Kind of just turn toward uh, it. And go. Yeah, just heaves over on the helm, and the the magic propulsion system begins to kick in and and gradually drift in that direction of the storm um, 
about second, third hour of your watch, um, you realize it's time to wake <laughs> up the others, and you're not really getting all that much closer to the storm, as far as you can tell. Yeah, I'm sure we're getting closer. Looks, it's fine. To uh, are you waking up the next watch? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yes. I just assumed when you said that that we were waking them up. Okay. Good watch. Do I notice Is... immediately that we're somewhere else? Um, give me your survival check. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna be very sleepy and angry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta like banish those dice uh, it's literally all my dice it's not my dice it is me because <laughs> oh no that is another one <laughs> yeah as far and... as you can tell you're right on course and everything looks fine it really looks great as you watch the what was i rolling and... for though it was a survival survival technically it's an eight so i was like is this a zero <laughs> Did you... <laughs> no. i'm good at survival just I'm bad at rolling. <laughs> I'm putting the autopilot on. Just let it just let it travel this way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. All right. As, uh, as Don't overthink Tobias, anything. <laughs> as Tobias and Mars slip off to the sleeping quarters down below, uh, you and Asborn are left in charge of this watch. Um, two of you, go ahead and give me perception checks. Yep. What oh, and one I for see? Pepper as well. <laughs> okay. Yep, one for Pepper. My perception is a 12. Okay. And Pepper's perception is a, ooh, a 22. Okay, six plus two, I got an eight. You can speak with animals, I hope, Samara. Uh, Pepper communicates with me telepathically. Oh, that's right. There's a mental voice in your head and Pepper asks you, why are we moving further from land? And I'm like, what? Please explain. She's Man, Pepper's a narc. <laughs> narc dragon. <laughs> well, I put the DC as a 20 because they plotted a horrible course, so it's hard to tell. But Pepper, he's describing to you that it feels like the vessel is heading due west, away from land. It's and... Not. Okay, I'm going to go wake up Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, you feel someone kind of startle you awake. <sighs> what? 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 <laughs> Take out the not... trash tomorrow, Mom. We're... <laughs> <laughs> we're not going in the same direction. What happened? Oh, no, we're going the right direction. We're going to go toward that storm. Okay. Well, no, we're not doing that, actually, <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, okay, good night. I'm going to go up to Asborn. <laughs> Asborn, we need to, to rechart a course. Do you know how to do that? Uh, I can try. I'll be real with you. I have never once tried to uh, change the course of the boat, not even on a normal boat. So can we look at the, uh, the maps are out, right? Like, can we look at where yeah, we're headed? I mean, the chart table's right by the helm's uh, wheel. Is it a survival? Uh, so the chart role? tables are out. I mean, uh, you can give me. Well, you can start with investigation to try to identify the correct map to. to Ooh, that's um, a good roll. Investigation. investigation. I got a twenty, dirty twenty. Okay. Oh my god. My... One. So one of the maps looks recently like the uh, the black chalk line is relatively fresh. Okay. Um, and it was the map that had two two or three additional charted courses two of them are in dashes another one is heading towards a small island that says chandra like encircled with some writing and then a new one is charted directly due west out away from the previous day's starting point no we need to go to chandra so i'm gonna we're gonna reset that okay so give me a survival check to try to set course on the ship okie dokie i'll try and help you yeah with uh... advantage another dirty 20 okay oh wait wait you said with advantage mm -hmm. uh wait no that's better uh 25 25 okay um as you begin to manipulate the controls of the ship to try to head it back in the direction of what you believe to be the tundra course after about 10 minutes as you and asborn kind of prop your elbows up to continue your watch it feels like you're still pointed towards the storm 
Oh, this mm. is not good. So we, now we can't get away from the storm, basically. <laughs> Should we wake up the others? I am. Con how how do we but see the storm? The storm doesn't appear to get, be getting really closer. I mean, you're looking miles and miles out on the horizon, and it doesn't feel like a normal natural weather storm. It's just more of the bright pinks, yellows, and red splashes of um, the destructive portals being created. But so far off in the distance, it just gives you the feeling that you're heading towards a storm. You don't know if maybe you did make the correction and maybe the storm horizon has gotten bigger or wider, but it's definitely strange. Mm -hmm. You try to make the correction again, seems fine. You can see the land parallel to your left while the vessel continues on. And then as you and Asborn kind of move around the ship to do a quick little um, uh, perception and, and check on things around the vessel and checking the different horizons you're pointed out towards that same what feels like that same direction so it's still following us basically maybe or your your ship is pointed it's hard to tell it's like you're looking doesn't make a lot of sense it's a little bit confusing but the land isn't to your left anymore it's more behind you to the left than it is directly off to your left well sam we tried i guess we are the storm chasers <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know what else to do. The other thing is, is it, it did, did that rest count as a long rest or not? Uh, not yet. It will okay. in the morning. Yeah. Cause that's the problem is that I'm wiped out on spells. I can't even like control weather or anything right now. I guess we'll just deal with it in the morning. Yep. So you guys finish off your watch, um, after three hours everything kind of similar to what was happening earlier. It's now late into the evening, early morning at this point. Thyssen and Fire will take the final watch. Of course, Fire's now gone missing. Um, <laughs> chances are, I bet you Thyssen's not there either. Watch. Thyssen, you there? Hi, fuck you. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for that one. He was crouching in the dark waiting for you. <laughs> Uh, so, Thais, until Fire gets back, go ahead and make a perception check as you are woken up for the third watch. Oh, not bad. Um, 13. Okay. Go ahead and make perception, Fire, as you uh, are now awake for the third watch. Hi, my son, Sebastian, I see you. There he is. Uh, uh, 25. 25. Between the two of you, you can't help but notice that the course that the ship, well, for fire, you can't help but notice that the course of the ship seems odd. Seems a bit off. Um, if I said, give me an arcana check, if you would, please. I'm good at those. We really have to stop saying that. Uh, 30. 30? Oh, he really is good at those. No? He really is good at those. Um, Although I suspect that's not even Max. Um, you that is not. No, Max is 31. Yeah. I forgot I only get, I get maximum 10. The course of the All ship right. seems off. The storm on the horizon seems magically induced or magically affected. You notice that the, vis the vessel is now beginning to pick up speed. It oh, seems shit. to be going faster than it's designed to go. Oh, shit. Yes. What was once a 18 knot journey feels more like a 25 knot journey. That's not what we wanted. You could also see the propulsion system is glowing slightly brighter than it normally does. But for the most part, the remainder of your watch, it's just the continuation of the vessel moving out and further at to sea. And by the end of your watch, the sun is just coming up off the horizon to kind of blanket strange light across this storm that seems close, but you never quite get there. Gradually, everybody begins to wake up, so everyone can go ahead and click off their long rest. And all of you awake to a sh airship traveling at 400 feet 
and now coasting at a clean 30 knots per hour. So the wind is kind of going past you. The storm gets bigger, but not closer. The propulsion system is beginning to grow brighter with each passing moment. It's morning. Things are a bit chaotic. What would you like to do? Well, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shut the engines down and see if that helps. Uh, you and when we and plummet out of the air, as you well, there's propulsion. And then there's giving it the ability to hover. I'll say you reach over and you pull the lever the speed. back. Yeah, you pull the lever back to the zero indicator for speed, and you're still you're still going. Okay, but the lever, does that does that calm the engines down? Engines still wrong break. lever. All right. Yeah. I guess we're going. Eventually. Good. You guys kept the same course. Good, because we're going. We didn't keep it on purpose. It seems that when you set that course, the storm is now pulling us in or doing something to fuck with our ship. We can't reset course. So, good job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sarcasm is lost. Finally. <laughs> uh, well, we, wanted, me... wanted to, we figured that's where Kulash was going to be. Okay, right? since the last fight with these as stupid you guys undead are in the dragon. midst of this argument you watch as the sun sets what the hell wait it's now nighttime didn't we just wake up yep and it was daytime y'all we are screaming Morning. and now it's nighttime something bad's yeah. happening we just yeah just, no kidding we just gotta let back, it we gotta lay back and let it happen to us you watch the sunrise <laughs> There's one day. What? Oh, yeah, I click off a long rest. Don't forget to click <laughs> off a long rest. Does it? Do we feel rested? Do we feel well-rested? Well <laughs> no. No, I think time is passing differently do when we're in this storm. Do we feel less rested? Like we've been up for a day? No, you just feel like you just woke up. Don't, don't I think we need to. Ideas. I think we need to scry into this storm and um, see what we can see. Um, or sure. something. I don't know. The engine is glowing a little bit hotter now. A little oh, bit brighter. Shit. Now, is that the propulsion engine or the levitation engine? The pro the propulsion engine on the back is glowing hotter. The, pro the, pro the levitation or what controls the axis of the up and down is still the same color. Uh, it's still the same okay, kind of like hue. Like it's not being affected by whatever's going on. He turned the propulsion off and it's still glowing brighter? Yep. Okay, turn the propulsion faster. Why See if it that? stops. Great, we're gonna we're gonna. We're already going faster than we need to. Right, but if it's nighttime, <clears throat> can we pull the crystal out of the propulsion system? I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. I mean, we put them in. Can we pull them out? Dyson, what do you think? Don't you mess with me? my ship. Uh, if we don't mess with it, it's going to explode because that's getting brighter. It's not supposed to be getting brighter. Daytime. And now the engine is showing hairline cracks on it. Shit. Okay. All right. Well, can I turn it anyway? Um, give me a strength check as you try to heave it to left and right. Can I help I'm him with that? I'm making it go faster. <laughs> Someone with strength do something I here. I say, can't I move say, the thing. Can I help him? I'm much stronger. I'm freaking than you. two feet tall here. <laughs> I'm bear lady, it. come over here. Smart. Bear, bear strength. <laughs> so, um, try making it go faster. See if that you know takes the strain off the engine. Oh, okay. Can, can you uh, hit smart? Can you get like an air elemental to like? I don't know. All right, so we're trying to un. We're, we're trying to. Okay, who's gonna help me turn that thing? Mara is gonna help me turn this thing. No, Mara, I'm not strong? strong. I'm dexterous. I can try. Uh, strength. You're a bear. Asborn is super too. strong. As a charlatan this whole time. Asborn. <laughs> strong. Asborn. Asborn. Okay. Yeah. Asborn, go ahead and give me a strength check. Okay. Strength check. 
Uh, yeah, with advantage, because we'll say Samara's helping you. Okay, that is too slow. Let me just do it here. 16 plus 3, 19. 19. You try to heave it over, and it does. You feel the, the vessel kind of go off to the left, and within a matter of a few minutes, it self-corrects and goes back into the course that it was set into. Okay, so I, I put the... Uh, I put the thrust on full. Does that lessen the amount of as you problems go to put it on having? full? The engine was running so hot that the metal armature that connects the thrusting system literally kind of like bends under your strength. Can you stop trying to do to destroy our ships? Hey, am I the one that made the course correction? That was free will, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You guys left the two children in charge. Not me. Okay, now listen. This is important. <laughs> it says I, I saw some people fall into their possibly fall into their deaths the last game here. I mean the last uh, encounter. Uh, <laughs> so who can't who has a problem if they uh, fall off the ship? Uh, Mara, fire. I'm fly. not I'm not raising my hand because I can't fly. I'm fine. Bison's Bison. fine. I think he's he's got something. Mara, can... can't you plane shift? I mean, I can ethereal walk, but that that didn't go great last time. <laughs> oh, night time again. Uh, God, why does it keep yeah, changing time of day? To, I don't like that. To, yeah, especially with all this weird stuff with like the the material plane is like cracking and like the veil is like I don't I don't think my ethereal walk is very uh, reliable right now. Can we take the Brindar out? Okay. Can we take a what what? Brundar, Brun, Bron, whatever the <laughs> thing that makes oh. it fly. The brimstone. What's the brimstone. brimstone. Yeah. Who who's got a tensor disc? Whatever. Yeah, yeah we still got those tensor discs? discs, right? From the from my old ship. Yep. Who's, okay, who's got cool. one? I I thought I did. Mara I has. Think, the, we all had I one. I don't think I had one. I'll give I think you mine. Mara one. has the pouch. They were all. We can pouch. have mine, and then you can, if you fall, my you can use it. Loaded. Or imploded? Oh. Or... Yeah, Mara, you can have mine. Now I can fly! <laughs> okay. Oh, there you go. See? Now I have a tensor's disc, and I can open it and stand on it. Right? Okay. I put that in my backpack. Daytime. Yeah. Oh my god, this is really fast. Yeah, we're screwed. A minute, I can I check to... if the, um... Can I pull up my sending stone? Sure. Hey, Albin. <laughs> no Help! <response. laughs> I don't think I was gonna ask how many days it's been. Uh, no response. Alvin? No okay, reception. By the way, can I pull out my brooch instead? Can I do the hologram one. It's inert. No magical. Damn it! Everything is broken, guys. Can I try yeah. counting how long it takes to swap to the day-night cycle? Are you counting like lightning um, strikes? Yeah, give me intelligence what? check as you. No, lightning give me strikes. wisdom. Yeah, give me I'm, wisdom. I'm just gonna as count you, as you try to formulate a theory. Uh, so I figure out how, how far we've gone by how many knots we're going. You get the feeling that every 15 minutes is a transition from day to night. So every 30 minutes is a day. Okay. Uh, I relate that to the group. But the engine is heating up, and as you recount, that counts getting. Uh, can I? It's, you're gradually getting faster, and can I, things are, and the night day shift is happening slightly more quicker within the next couple rotations. Can I do like a, um, like a conjure, not a conjure, um, create water and use it to like try and cool down the engine a little bit, like have it like a continuous flow. <laughs> And get it water. Time. Yeah. If you try to invoke the spell, nothing happens. Well, I can do nothing here, guys. So. Oh, your your magic's not working at all. My magic's not working at all, and this is also not natural. So. Um, druid, that, drew it out. Um, Tyson, can your magic <laughs> drew it out? Because your magic doesn't need like a god or anything. I mean, just like a quick little prestigitation. <laughs> Watch as he kind of creates a little smoke and it works fine. Nice. 
Sorry, Samara. That's fine. Fire, how are you doing? I will try and cast light. Nothing happens. Quick question, though. Did it expend a a spell slot? Uh, Yes, it did. And not only that, um, Thyssen, when you Mm -hmm. did press the digitation, it felt like a euphoric reality just passed through your body. Like, the most powerful magic ever was just produced. There was so much arcane infusion into that effect. It just... You you feel like you've just experienced something that you want to try and experience again and again. Oh my god, he's gonna become a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a ninth level spell, baby. I'll do anything. One more <laughs> um, can I see if this like a magical influence is coming from like outside the ship? It, yeah, with your innate arcane ability, it's definitely coming from the storm that you should be approaching, but you're not. This is holding us here. Damn it. Why aren't we getting closer? I'm trying to do the right thing. No, you don't. Why? <laughs> Every time. The right thing and would have been to continue on the course that we plotted. But this is clearly where we need to be. It's where the, if where we the want badness to die. is. <laughs> it's time to abandon we ship. Go there where the badness is and stop the badness. Okay, can I, okay, can I drop down to, will it let me drop down to sea level? Um, as you try to push it, the, the, the armature forward to drop down, it, you begin to drop down, and then it just come bounces right back up into the previous course. Hey, can can Ember like fly closer to the storm? Maybe. Um, have I had any luck getting the gem out of the propulsion system, the broomstone? Uh, are you trying to do that? That's what I've been talking about trying to do for like I could, seven yeah, but days. I couldn't hear you over the 20 people saying anything, so I didn't hear that. Okay. Um, I would say give me an investigation check before you do it. All right. Uh, 18. 18. As you approach it, it's, it's so hot that you can feel your hairs begin to singe and curl back on your hand. Okay. And you can see more fractures a... kind of appearing Is on the glass work. Um, with that investigation check, I mean, there's the lever that Tobias can't seem to use to turn it off or, or to speed it up or bring it to zero. Um, on the very top of the device is a rune stone that you can invoke to cause the broomstone to eject. Um, but unfortunately, that's like right where it's superheated right now. Hey, um, I'm not uh, allowed Tyson, nighttime. You have, do you have a, a mage hand that would work with that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to try and cast Globe of Invulnerability around the engine itself. Okay. But we don't wanna... Watch as Thyssen steps back and. <laughs> brings this globe into existence. And the moment it exists, everything freezes. Everything just comes to a screeching halt and then continues on and you watch as the globe stays behind as the ship continues on. I guess we just wait and see what happens when our ship explodes. Damn it! I really don't want the ship to explode. We just bought this. The I'll go down the there. It's no use to me being up here. I go down there. Go down where? Where she's at, where she wants to eject the thing. She's right behind you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so it's hot right behind me? Yeah. Okay. How like far is it to the... to the? like 10 feet behind you. And okay. you can feel the heat kind of like getting more intense. So how far do I have to move into that heat to press the button? Um... 10 feet. Wait, wait. Okay, I, I, I try to press the button then. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. So wait. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the Spock. I'm doing yeah. the Spock. I, 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 I have a very long war hammer that can also help. I'm, Tobias, I'm firing. So you don't have to get so close. 
Okay, well, Mars whatever you guys are going to do is Mara hit it. Mara's fire Eject resistant. the damn thing. Let's let Mara do it. She's fire resistant. I'll, I'll do it. <clears throat> uh, I give you my maul so you can tap it with the button. I take them all. Okay. Uh, what's your strength, Mara? Yeah, heavy. <laughs> yeah, what's your strength? Yeah, not very high. Um, my str- uh, ten. You can't even carry it. Yep, I drop it right on the ground. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have. I, I mean, I have. What do I have? Um, I mean, I have a couple of rapiers. I just, I'm just gonna get pull out my regular on <laughs> magic. Nighttime. <laughs> Rapier. And I go to push a button. So as you step through the heated sphere that's organized around it, uh, go ahead and give me a con save. Mm-hmm. 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 19. 19 will fail. Um, as you try to push through this veil of heat, because you are resistant, you'll take half of 150 points of fire damage. Hot, guys. It's hot. Oh, hot mama. And that was that first five feet that you pushed through into it. If you remain in this, you're going to continue to take that damage. I have five more feet to go. Five more feet to go. And then how the many more points do you have to go? Scene of the button. Yeah. I am, I'm going to have bust out the homunculus. No, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to keep going. Oh, okay. hold on. Hold on, hold on. The well, she's got to give me another con save through. either way. Tyson, you bust uh, no, out no, the no, homunculus. No, no. Okay. I bust out the homunculus, and he's going to use his ninth level spell slot. Cool, cool little dude. He's going to okay. cast a spell invulnerability. On um, what's that give me? Uh, you are immune to all damage. So immune? as you're pushing Actually, through that last five feet of heat, you feel an arcane uh, kind of like layer of protection appear around you. You look at your skin; that's a soft glow of yellow. And you no longer feel the heat. You no longer feel as if whatever's causing this thing to superheat is going to do any more damage to you. But you also know you're probably limited on time. Mm-hmm. Um, give me an investigation with disadvantages. You try to stare at where you believe the button to be or where the room um, would be. Uh, okay, those are two decent rolls. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah. You reach your hand up towards the top of the compartment that contains the broomstone, and you tweak the rune. All of you feel the ship come to a halt. <laughs> There's this arcane kind of orb that ejects out from the backside of the ship, and then gotcha. just. In as rapid as it could go, just just gone. The ship is now frozen in that condition where it just stops moving forward. But you watch as a flock of seagulls go by so fast they're a blur. Um, you watch as it's now nighttime again, but you guys are no longer moving. You're stationary. The the device is designed to keep you level and from falling into the water are keeping you inert, keeping you in this frozen position. Yeah, we'll look, we'll, can you, can yeah. you send, um, what's the bird's name? Pepper. Can, can you send Pepper after the orb? I can try. Guys. Send Pepper, you, go, get it. As you watch Ow. Pepper flutter away from the ship to go chase after the orb, she shredded, he's shredded out of existence. Ooh. Oh, and you damn feel it. the connection with Pepper. Sorry. Come apart. It's okay, I'll call him back later. <laughs> Not expect oh. that to happen. Good thing I didn't have to do it. <laughs> I know, right? You watch as clouds just blaze by you. Our ship If anybody's sails, looking right? down as daylight comes, you watch a pot of whales <laughs> go by really fast. Jesus. The Earth is spinning really fast. That's why day is, is... Damn it. Right? That's what has, that's what's happening now? Maybe. Maybe we try to cast a Dispel Magic. Anyone have, like, a hundredth level Dispel Magic? That's... Yeah. Dispel, dispel the Earth. Exactly. For the world. Because it's not the Earth. 
At least to get us the time to get out of it? I don't know. Mm. Like dispel the, the clouds, I guess? I've got a ninth level dispel magic, but also my magic doesn't work. I can try it, but just to warn you. Sure, yes, don't no. waste your ninth level spell. Try a first yeah. level spell first. See if that works. No. Okay. Let's see if you feel euphoric. So what are you trying to do, Samar? My dispel starts at third level. Okay. I don't think it's going to work, guys, but I can try. Give me a d20. Okay. Nope, that's a three. You feel the spell... You feel like the spell would have worked, or has worked. It just didn't have any desirable effect on what's going on. So my magic works, though? Maybe. Okay. Does our... mm, We're, like, frozen in time is the problem. I can't do anything natural that would Nighttime make us again. go somewhere else. Just try it, then. Give it a shot. So if we, like, plane shift or whatever, like, if someone has a spell, their ship stays. We can't take the ship with us, right? Here goes another no fucking ship. I don't know how plane shift works. Sure. I, I can't fucking believe it. I only had this thing two games. I'm, not, I'm trying to see Fuck! Ass. All I want to do is go be an adventurer, and what happens to me? I get screwed. All right. Fuck it. I just throw myself off the side. <laughs> oh, you don't. <laughs> oh, no. no. You see, you throw yourself Tobias off the side, sh- Tobias? No. Yeah, try the next level to spell. No, like, we could survive here months with our rations. Like and almost. Oh, wait. If your magic works, does my magic work? I take out my setting stone. Albin? Nothing. Damn it. I'm gonna start keeping What's track Albin gonna do? how many days have passed. I so just far. wanna know how many days have gone by. Uh feels like maybe a month. Okay. Right, but I'm I wanna know if actually how many there. days have gone by. It's faster now. Every five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. If I cast control weather, I know it's a long rain like it takes a while to cast, but if I cast it, does it feel like the ship is moving anywhere? If you cast control weather. Yeah. What? Right I now can the... change the wind, basically. Uh, right now you don't feel any wind. <sighs> we haven't moved that at all, right? It doesn't feel like you're moving at all. Everything around you feels like it's moving, but you get no sense of breeze or wind or just every five minutes the changing of the day. You guys are gonna kill me if you figure this out. <laughs> I'm, uh, just... I'm never gonna figure it out. <laughs> oh, you, you will. Know. Trust me, you will. Is this real? <laughs> Give me a wisdom save, Tobias. Okay, that's not bad. Let's see. Twenty-two. DC was a twenty-one. Your eyes are flutter asleep? open. Tobias? Uh huh. And as they open, there's something attached to your face. Oh. And you reach up, and this small little creature has this weird appendage stuck to the side of your head. And as you're as you wake up, you feel the protrusion of the dart of its tongue kind of like come out of your skull. Mm-hmm. Oh, gross. And it's it's maybe like it's very small, it's very adipose in appearance. It's got four little tiny feet and a single uh-huh. eye, and its mouth is this weird elongated trunk. Uh-huh. And it seems kind of shocked that you woke up, and it slurps its trunk back into its face, and now it's replaced with a mouth. And now it's like, like waddling away from you. And as you watch it waddle away from you, you can see everybody else is asleep on the deck of the ship. Uh-huh. It's daytime out. And they all have these creatures attached to their heads. All right, is it small enough just to step on? 
Um, it's the size of a cannonball. In, in oh, it is. Size. Yeah. Oh, I'll shoot it. Okay. Give me. Uh, give me. A, give me uh, six attack rolls or five attack rolls as you shoot oh, the creatures. We truly really have been dreaming. Is that? Is that doubled? <laughs> because remember, his attacks 14. are two attacks. Yeah. Sixteen. That's a thirty. I want to know, does the other Tobias have uh, one on him in independently? or 32. And a... If you were there, I could tell a you. A 23. That. That's, so that's the first... Do all three of those hit? <laughs> so which who are you starting with? Because that's kind of important. Uh, well, well I'll probably... You the one see. that was on him. So... You... He was shooting the one that was on him. I was no, shooting the one that's that walking one away have. from me. So the huh? only reason you woke up, Tobias, uh -huh. is because you asked the question, is this real? Right. Which prompted a, a wisdom saving opportunity. Right. Which which you beat the 21, therefore right. you're awake. It, mm -hmm. it detached from you automatically once it realized it didn't have a control over you anymore. And right. it's now waddling and running away from you. Yeah. That's you the see... one he was shooting. Yeah, I just wanted to kill that one real quick. Okay, um, so if that's the first one you're aiming at, it only has two hit points. When you slam the round into it, it comes apart. Okay. And as it, as as you, you shoot it and it comes apart, its skin and tissue just kind of evaporate into sparkles uh -huh. and just drift up into the air. Okay. Um, so yeah, you I, see, it's kind of you can, you it's can kind see of overkill fire, to. Yeah, you can see fire leaning up against the barrel with one attached to her head. You could see Thyssen kind of slumped over the railing and one attached to his head. Samara okay. is kind of lying on the ground with one attached to her. Same thing with Mara and Asborn. They're kind of Oops. on the, the deck as well. Hmm. And these things are kind of pulsing. And you could see arcane light from their like transparent brain tissue uh -huh. that seems to be keeping them asleep. Maybe okay. it's hard to tell for sure what they're doing. So it might be easier just to... Kit, your duplicate standing beside you. Yeah. So it'd probably be easier just to just poke them with a, you know, stab them or something instead of just, instead of shooting them off. That's kind of excessive. Maybe. Right? So who, who are you doing first? Uh, I'll do fire. Okay. And Yay. how are you, how are you destroying the creature? Uh, I just, I'll use like a dagger. As you approach it with the dagger, you watch as the brain tissue of the creature begins to glow a red, uh -huh. and you're watching as fire is now writhing in pain the closer you get. Ah, damn it. Okay, I back away. Okay. <laughs> that All just right. makes him giggle. <laughs> then I know. I'll just, so, so maybe I could just quick shoot them all off their heads so they won't, won't know what hit them. The first one you point at, it glows hot red, and fire begins to writhe in pain again as soon as the weapon's pointed at it. Okay, I put it away. I just As you look around you, uh -huh. it is the morning that you woke up. Okay. So there, the memory of waking up, you can see the land off to the left. No course has been set yet. You're still traversing up the coastal like you were supposed to. Oh, okay. So something must have happened at the point that you guys woke up and came up on deck. Right. Or maybe it happened while you, everybody was asleep Sleeping. or something. Okay. But something, you get the feeling that these things were designed to keep you trapped in your own minds. Okay. Damn it, these things. Um, so if I, go, if I go to touch fire, did it, does it heat up again? Did um, Tobias if you disappear? physically touch a uh, fire? Yeah. Um, no, it doesn't seem to react when you touch her. Like you're able Wake to put up. your hand on a leg. Uh -huh. um, fire, go ahead and give me a wisdom save. <clears throat> 21. 21 is the DC. Your eyes flutter open. For some reason, you feel something detached from your head and there's like mucus and a trickle of blood from where the needle oh, was in your head my fur. you look down at your feet you're lying on the ground and there's tobias shaking your leg as this squat little brain tissue creature is waddling away from you and you watch this tobias I'm fish it. 
Okay. okay. He's, he's definitely All right, I'll go around and wake up everybody. To... I'll try to wake up Asborn. All right. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to see what he's doing and I'm going to help. Okay. Did they disappear uh, Asborn, from the Well, there's not mm -hmm. really anything you can do to help. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, As Asborn, give me a wisdom save. I go to save. Sam. Okay, Sam, give me a wisdom save. Oh. Ooh, eight. <laughs> Asborn, uh, not only does Asborn not wake up, you watch as the creature globs onto Asborn's face a little bit tighter, and a second protrusion come out and stick him in the top, stick her in the top of the head. Ew. Do I see like Gross. rainbows and ponies now? Uh, you do not dead pull it, no. Oh. Uh, I got a 17. 17. Um, same thing happens to Samara. The creature globs onto it and then. Try to get Thyson because maybe a, di a dispel magic would work. Okay, I'm gonna go over to Thyson and try okay. and shake Thyson. Okay, Thyson, give me a wisdom save, please. Thyson's already dead. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, wisdom save. That's a nineteen. Yep. Nineteen. You shake Thyson's leg, and creature does the same thing. <sighs> Attaches well. itself. Deeper into their psyche. Okay, I'm going to try Mara. Okay. Wisdom save Mara. Oh, good. I'm so good at those. Wait, is it even possible for me to get out if I don't roll a nat 20? Because I have a minus one. <laughs> <laughs> wait a, oh, wait a second, me. guys. <laughs> wait a second. Same thing happens to Mara as well. The creatures are reacting to your attempt to wake them up by adding another protrusion into their head and globbing onto their heads. And the brain tissue is pulsing purples and yellows and reds, like it's frantically keeping them under control. What if we light them on the fire? Damage them? You both said Say that again, fire. I said, what if we light them on fire? I mean, Tobias already told you that if he tried to approach any of the brain matter or the, the creatures, they immediately start to respond to it by. Um, creating pain, possibly, or threatening okay. to kill what they're attached to. I'm going to try and cast them? a spell. What kind of spell? Is it area of effect? <clears throat> um, word of radiance? It's just a cantrip. What does it do? You utter a divine word and a burning radiance erupts from you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 1d6 radiant damage. I mean, as soon as you start to cast that spell and invoke it, the uh -huh. four remaining creatures attached to the other four begin to glow a hot red as they're... And then you notice that the four... Uh, you notice Asborn, Thyssen, Samara, and Mars bodies begin to thrash as if okay. they're in pain. All right, uh, I'll stop. So it, it reacts to spells, too. I'm going to shake Thyssen again more vigorously. Okay. Thyssen, go ahead and give me another wisdom save. Uh, blah, blah. Ooh, 27. Uh, that's, actually, that's actually really good because the DC had jumped up to a 25. Oh, um, I'm never going to wake up. Thyssen, Guys, I'm, I'm dead. Thyssen, your <laughs> eyes flutter open. As you watch this strange gelatinous creature detach from your head and start to waddle away just in time for fire and Tobias to kind of dispatch it really quick. Um, you're back on the ship. It's the normal morning and you can see Asborn, Samara, and Mara are still under the effect of whatever these creatures are. Dyson, I, all this stuff we were thinking is all fake, we, but I can't uh, wake up the rest of them. If we try to attack them, you guys start shaking and take, I don't know, they're hurting them. We try, I tried a spell and Tobias tried aiming the guns at them. And they start shaking like they're in pain. If I could just snap shoot one, quick draw. Blows off her head. That's why I was trying to kill <laughs> Don't shoot me in the face. That was a I better it, death. Guys, I got it. It's a better death than what those creatures would have gave her. No, uh -huh. Remember, Mara has lots and lots of hit points. I can be your guinea pig. You're assuming that I... hit points are the only thing you can lose. There. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 
I'm thinking it bumps down either your intelligence, your charisma, or your con. It, it, it would be your it would be your intelligence. Uh, um, well, <laughs> some people won't miss that. <laughs> you have a like spell <laughs> Uh, Actually, as well, we, we, we do any like big anything they don't like. It. What about a dispel oh, magic? No, well, anything. I mean, fear the only thing they can do is run away. Hold on, I'm going to cast major image, okay? And with my age major image, I'm going to create like a, a figure of like a dude that's like a scientist with like. A brain that's like five times as big as a normal human, like like the most succulent looking brain possible, <laughs> like like a smorgasbord of brain brain matter. candy, right in the eyeline of all the remaining dudes. I, I would say, creative as it is, um, you begin to realize that these creatures don't have eyes. Oh, well, like, oh. I they had one big eye. I thought they had one big eye that you. Yeah, had. they had one big eye at the end. Yeah. Well, that's what you think you saw. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So far, the two that or the creatures that have detached, you guys have just dispatched. You haven't bothered to try to capture one. Okay, we're gonna. Try I don't want to it. suck on my brain level again. Nineteen, everybody. <laughs> bison, bison, try a hold monster. It instantly paralyzes them if they fail. Yeah, but it's gonna shoot. I'm gonna cast. Um, Charm monster. You're gonna make him shit. Them. Charm. What's a oh, shark monster? A oh, charm not monster. Charmin Char monster. monster. Yeah, because that's Char technically not an attack. At what level? Uh, fourth. Fourth. And what's the what's the school on charm monster? That's um. Was school of magic? Yeah, we're still magic at that. Uh, enchantment. Enchantment, that's what I thought. Um, Asborn, Samara, and Mara, give me wisdom saves with advantage, please. Ooh, oh, advantage Lord. would be helpful. You would think. Uh, uh, well. Okay, Mara, I got a under. five and a ten, and I'm going to use luck. Okay. That's it. Wisdom, 18. you said? So it is a lower DC now because 20. of what Dyson did. Or 24. Samara, you wake up. Asborn and Mara are still asleep. And as you wake up, you feel the creature detach from your head. And the four of you can see it waddling towards the edge of the ship. All I right, reach out it. my hand to smash it. No, don't. Catch it. Grab it. Catch <laughs> it. I got a 17. Smash. I don't want to touch it. Okay, I'll grab it. Okay, give me a dex check to grab it. Asborn and Mara, you're still in the... As far as you know, everything's still doing the exact same thing yeah. I was describing. Got away, guys. Did I charm one of them? I'm going to pull out one of the barrels and try and catch it. Okay, give me a dex check grab, as you race over to it, try to catch it. They could kill undead dragons, but whoa, man. Let me tell I you. I am not wise. <laughs> you know this about Mara. She's very bad. We'll just be carrying her around. She'll have this thing on her head. I'm Mara. <laughs> It'll just start talking for her, like on uh, Rick and Morty. I, see, I, I was thinking of the brain slugs on Futurama. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got a 15. 15? That's good enough. You managed to scoop it up in one of the small barrels that you have. And it's got, like bouncing against the wall. And now you have it scooped up and contained. It has no eye, no mouth. Just these random needle-like appendages coming out of its brain tissue. Gross. Can I cast Dominate Monster on it? Uh, yeah, what's the save on that? Wisdom? Uh, yeah. I believe so. Hold on. Yeah, wisdom. Uh, that is a 25. God uh, damn! I choose to make him oh. fail. Wisdom, choose to make him fail. Wisdom okay. yes. As you choose to make it fail, it goes inert, the appendages go limp, the brain tissue stops pulsing, and it just kind of begins to slowly turn into a puddle of goo. Yes. It doesn't sparkle like the last one? 
No, not this time. Huh. Hey. Yeah. Try, try uh... Maybe we could try talking to um, Mara, like, with, you know, how you talk to her in her head. So I'm okay, out now, right? Out 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 no, Asborn and Mara are still under. Okay. Telepathically, I am going to talk to Mara because I actually have telepathy. Um, <coughs> and I'm going to look at, you know, talk to Mara and say, Hey, Mara, it's a dream. It's the voice of God talking to me right now. So, Mara, as you're experiencing everybody arguing and the day changing, the ship's inert and everyone's trying to figure out what to do. You hear a voice. It's like a almost like a Charlie Brown voice. Um go ahead and give me another okay. wisdom save. Wait, she rolled something. 18. 18? Your eyes flutter. Because what Dyson accomplished on top of this constant disturbance over its psychic ability or its hold on you, you wake up. The thing detaches from your head. Oh, um, yeah. I'm going to try and catch it. Catch it! Smash it? Did I hear yeah, something? Smash it. Yeah. Oh, watch it! Just Magic, smash it. Don't listen to him. <laughs> it's gotcha. squeaky. It's like I'm all four of its little it. legs are causing it to run away faster. Gross, okay. gross, 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 gross. I'm trying, I'll try and catch it. I'll try and catch it. Deck deck if you want to try to catch it. Uh, Hold on. I am not dexterous. It's a 17. Yep, you managed to scoop it up in one of the little wooden buckets on the ship. It's now inside, flailing against its containment. I'm gonna so try far, the only Asborn is Asborn. still under the uh, condition. I'm going to try the same thing with Asborn. Asborn! It was a dream! Asborn, uh, Asborn give another wisdom save. Okay. Come on, Asborn. Okay, I'm going to uh, re-roll from 15 with luck again. Yeah. That's a five. How many, left? How many do I have left? Oh my god. I've gone through two already. Oh, I have one left. I'm going to do it one more time. That's an I 11. Won. I'm stuck, guys. Huh. Why aren't you just killing the thing on his head? Apparently. Because... It... Oh, I don't know that. Never mind. It makes it makes it it makes it look like you guys are hurting. Yeah, watch. I'm gonna point my gun at Asborn. As you do, it I... flares red. Asborn's body, her body begins thrashing like something's being dug deeper into her brain. Was I getting hurt in in my dr dream? Was I feeling? I don't know. Pain? No, I'm asking the DM. It's hard to tell. I the know. the dream state's already fading from your mind. It's also if you're becoming slightly confused as to what you're even doing. I don't, I don't think it was hurting me in the dream though. But it could kill. Is anyone actually kill. damaged one? Or have we just Not like well, threatened? Can I just threatened so far? Can I, say I really. Anything? Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said, Mara. No, I'm asking my team. Oh. Can I just swing at it? I mean, it might physically, um, I mean, completely damage Asborn. Can I go over it to might... Asborn and slap her really hard in the face? I'll wake, if she wakes I'll her up. Uh, well, the creature is now enveloping half of her head. Oh, gross. It's I don't gonna... that. Yeah, it's going to see that as an attempt on the creature. So it flares red and the body, Asborn's body, and then you pull your hand back and it seems to settle back down. Yeah, it does that. Okay. Put a towel back over back his back. head, and then I'll shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mara yeah, makes okay. a valid point. Do any of us have damage from waking up? Like, do we feel damaged? No, do I, I have okay, that so... Fire damage that I took? 
Yeah, that's what I think she's asking. Does she have the fire damage she took? Uh, no, as far as you know, you don't. But then again, you think about it, and you're like, what fire damage? It doesn't make sense. There's like a, almost kind of confusion or befuddlement in your mind. It's it's almost foggy. Like with each passing moment, less of what happened is sticking around. So whatever, ha- like I'm fine. Look, like I just want to hit it. Asborn, how many hit points do you have? Um, uh, like 215. Oh, geez. All right, but it could be like constitution. Okay, but you have like revivify, right? <laughs> yeah. Wait a second, guys. Yeah. Yeah, uh... maybe you have like greater restoration. <laughs> Te- no, technically, I have true, uh, true resurrection. See, if, well, if you I don't can need rest. true resurrection. Not... You, you don't need true resurrection. You, if he dies. When, no, when like five minutes or whatever, right? It's, yeah. We're, we're wait, wait, wait. We still have one of these things like a barrel, right? Yeah. There's one in a small wooden bucket that somebody grabbed. Yeah, that's the only one still alive. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to study it, analyze it, and I'm going to polymorph into it. Gross. Uh, I'm going to take a my rapier and swing at the one at his head. Investigation. Okay. Today. Right. And I smash Thyssen. Uh, so, Mara, as you go to approach it and go to jab at it with your rapier, you watch as the tissue expands and then immediately deflates, and you watch as everything that was once the inside of Asborn's head drain out of its ears, her mouth, Seriously? and her eyes just roll into the back of her head. The now deflated raisinette of the creature detaches and just shrivels up and f- kind of flutters away. I thought we already knew this was an intellect power, did we not? I thought we already went over this. No, nobody knew. Am I brain dead? I, I, dead? I could have asked me. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute, I thought you Did were going to talk. Revivify? <laughs> Will Revivify work? No! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> There's no way I just die like this, guys. Come on. What did you do? You literally You know if the mouse ain't blasting these off people's heads and there's <laughs> Should do it. Asborn's intelligence is zero. Her physical body seems fine. Oh, okay. But her brain is melted on the inside. Um, greater restoration? No, there's only one way to repair someone who's been intellect devoured. Which is? Oh, we gotta gotta wish it back. We gotta wish wish the brain back. Do you have a wish? No, can we kill no. her and revivify her? Look she's over practically not dead in the traditional no, sense. She's not dead. Who does it want to kill her? <laughs> we revivify her. This is barbaric. Is that back as regular? Oh, oh, guys, oh, there's no God. doubt in my mind that you guys really are the anti heroes. No <laughs> I tie mind. strings to his arms and legs and make a puppet. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I- I'm just wondering, post clarity, could we have just held monster it and just killed it i mean it has a high resistance to charm um there was one particular weakness it had but no one stumbled across it so thyson probably would have yes maybe. <laughs> but we still have a live inter- in the like devourer somebody just to cast banishment to be honest with you that was its one oh weakness. my god uh, um me i don't have banishment <laughs> What if we put that the one that's still alive on his head? Will that give him a brain? <laughs> <laughs> put it technically, back. Put it back. technically, they can inhabit people's empty brain cavities as new brains. Right, but, but they are the new brains. Well, so these, didn't want that. While while I would say with that investigation roll, you recognize these as a form of intellect devour. These don't feel like the normal underdark ones. These came from somewhere else. And they the feel special. a bit more quality. Um, uh, no, they just feel like maybe Not they're from world. another plane of existence, and they're just doing what they know how to do. Okay, What's well, we have the problem of a brain dead as born. What do we want? Man, to do if about I would have shot all six of those off your heads, we would have been in trouble. <laughs> Okay, so I was like, no, cast, I just want to shoot the uh, one that's running away from me. I'm gonna cast greater restoration. How many? Um, how many uh, points do you usually have in intellect, Asborn? Um, I usually have thirteen. 
13? Yeah. Okay, well, it may take a couple days, but <laughs> let's try greater restoration and see if you get one point back. Somewhere inside that empty skull, a little <laughs> tiny bit of brain matter clings on to the magical effect of greater restoration as the toddler Asborn is currently coming back to consciousness. Hey. I ain't changing him. And then... <laughs> no command of the language, inability to speak. Uh, Asborn, your brain is so clouded with confusion you're not even sure what you're doing, what they're doing. You're barely functioning. I, um, Gibberish is pulling out, out of your mouth. Maybe someone I should pull out that manacles. Mouth. I pull out manacles and I tie her up. What? Uh, because what are you doing? <laughs> we got to take care of them. The no. What are you doing? We could have just waited a little bit longer for you. You cheated. <laughs> My God. I'm happy none of you are like working like hospitals or some shit. Yeah. Literally. Like, <laughs> Oh. Yeah, just slide some food under the door. No. He's like, oh my god. You know, put him to sleep or something, but you don't have to do that. Yeah. Oh my god. We're going to have BPS on our ass. Bard Protective Services. This is the right choice. They're going to come out and say we're abusing our bard. Samara, do you have your I do, but I'm literally okay. crying right now. No, it's fine. When you calm down, if you guys chain him up to the deck, <laughs> Mongo. We're gonna call him Mongo. We're back in like a couple of. Days. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you're killing me, fire. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I think you Ooh. killed Jason. And he's gone. <laughs> He had to refill his water. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, so solid so skill I do, set right there. Just, uh. just saying, I do pull out a set of manacles from a bag because I have I a set of manacles in my bag, and I tie her up because I don't want her to walk off the side of the ship. Okay. No, be technically. I can cast greater restoration three times. I know something like in a row, um, right? So yeah. can we yeah. do like six total? Yeah, so we get hey. we get her we up to six intelligence. So you have, gonna... you have kind of a, a less than average intelligence. Your language skills are okay, uh, but your cognizant ability to kind of organize your thoughts are very cloudy and foggy. Um, difficult for you to understand what's happened. Um, all you know is you have a se severe headache. Uh, you currently have four points of exhaustion, Asborn. Well, greater restoration. Oh. Take a nap. Does does Asborn still have all of her hit points? So has all of her hit points, yeah. But just exhausted and yeah. not very smart. Yep. Okay. okay. Great. So, um, can we blow time. some? I'm gonna teach him how to swab the decks. <laughs> um, six. Asborn, she's six. just like. Swabbing the deck oh. all night long, all day Perfect. long. <laughs> all right, oh, so I'm going to take. Need some oh, more I'm going to take my two six-level spells, and I'm going to do it. Greater restoration again, twice. So now she's up to nine. Hey. Okay, no, so that's... that's six, seven, eight. She's up to eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. I don't think. Well, I Samara did three. You did three, did three, which is six total. Yeah, she yeah and now I'm doing two. Two more, so that's eight. I only have. So that's so eight, eight. Uh, out of the 13. She's yeah. getting better. You're like almost regular. <laughs> I can yep. just imagine this tiny, massive brain cells just growing exponentially. Can half of her hair be gone <laughs> and just have like, like you know, like a really bad headache? Looks like she had brain <laughs> surgery. <laughs> well, and one of her eyeballs are blown out. Like one of her pupils are just like super open. Eight out. ball hemorrhaged. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> So I'm up one. I'm gonna get. I put a tax. I'm gonna get Asborn some food and be like, "You need to eat, and then you need to go night night." Okay. Yeah. And then, and then depending on depending on what happens today, tonight, I might, um, you know, blow my other higher level spells. Oh, fire! <clears throat> uh, remember, yeah. I gave you that tattoo that it, it gives you a short rest as a long rest. So if you take a short rest right now, you slap it, it'll be like you had a long rest and it'll give you all your spell slots back. 
Okay. And then you can talk to me again? Yes. Okay. That's epic. So that way you All can... Right. You have I'm going to go up then. to the that, helm and make sure everything's going now, good. that tattoo took a series of rolls. It's it, it, That one's beyond your proficiency, but you can certainly try to do it again. Is it beyond her proficiency? Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the her first is... attempt at like a a real significantly powerful infusion of a tattoo. The other ones have been pretty mundane up to that point. Oh, and that's true. And it required shaving my tail. Yeah, it gave you a tramp stamp. Yeah. <laughs> what I, I still what got mine from a it. long time ago. I still have mine too. Mine's I still have my tired. healing one from a long time ago. Oh, who says heroes are super? <laughs> But I just I feel like uh, uh, you should. This would, if you're going to use it now, would be the time. I'm gonna mm, let's I just take them. care and kill that one that we have. Thyson, can you take care of that one we have, so it doesn't get out when I'll you're done studying it. How are we killing it? Old Yeller style. Old yeah. Yeller. <laughs> take it out to the back. What, take it out the behind monster? the Dang, shed dumbass. and take care <laughs> of it. When they fly. What would happen if we just dump it over the edge of the ship? I love you, Brainy. <laughs> I don't want to risk it coming back. <laughs> That's what you guys were planning to do to me earlier. It's like having a oh, spider. Thyson just puts it on tonight to trip out. Again. <laughs> yeah, Thyson oh. uses it as a drug. He just puts it on to trip out. <laughs> Skull cap. Taking a magic carpet ride. It's closest you have to a hollow deck. <laughs> hey, we can make it into the hollow deck. We can put it in a contraption that'll take it off your head when you, when the time comes. Hollow deck configuration. Brain dead Asborn. <laughs> so it's still uh, daytime, right? Or still early mornings <laughs> if you guys just woke up. Okay. What if there's two? Memory of the day night rapid. You what do, if there's two on us? It's, it's, it, it, <laughs> you do have it, but it's fading very rapidly. Okay. Inception style. So we still have how many days of sailing? One more. One more. So. We're Asborn, okay, eat your food, go to sleep, fire. Good night. And then well, depending rest, on what happens with the rest it. of the day, I will I will see about I don't believe this is happening. There's um, two of them on our tonight. heads. That was just the first one. We're Did still I in put, a dream. Hold on, let me check my let me check my spell slot things. Nope. Nothing that I could have used that was useful. Alright. Never mind. I go back up and I, I go up to the little reactor thing and I'm all, you're still here, baby. You're still here. I love you so much. I'll never let him do that to you again. <laughs> you watch as he puts now a it, blanket around. I it, thought I lost you. Wait, wait, wait. Pours at an eight intelligence. <laughs> at an eight intelligence. We don't have to, we don't have to leave her chained up, right? She knows not to. I mean, she's effectively stupefied to a bit. She's confused. Her language skills aren't that great. She's in it, unable to cast any arcane level spells of any sort. Um, she's okay. just, she's severely mitigated from her former self. I mean, she I can't play the guitar. <laughs> and she sits there on her crate trying to strum the lute, and, and none of the chords really work. And she gets. She's frustrated. just like a commoner now. She doesn't even have a, a class or anything. Like. That's rude, dude. <laughs> you got to go back to college. <laughs> bard college. Your, coll your bard college. <laughs> okay. All right. That's rude, dude. I just checked that we're on course and everything. Okay. Of course, we're looks really fine. On time. Uh, off to the right side of the ship, way out in the distance. You can still see that storm out there. Oh, so the storm was real. Looks like it. Now I head to it. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I always get the planet. Everything's fake. That was all fake. No, all right. Dang it. We're continuing on to the island. We'll continue on to the island. Repeat after <laughs> me, Tobias. <laughs> Tobias, I need to hear you say it. I will we'll continue to the island. We will not deviate from the course Excellent. of the island. Going to it. The island. <laughs> Suddenly there's a crack of energy above you. Oh, shit. There's this huge shred of a portal that opens. And for a few minutes, it rains three-eyed frogs. 
Oh, gross. Oh, I like I get, it. I get it, chaos. I get it. Can I cast I'm gonna, I'm catching some in a bucket. Okay. I'm gonna cast no. wall. They jump out. They might be tasty. Can I cast wind wall lit. above us to like keep them off of us? I turn upside down. Bring up the spell and it, for the next few minutes it cast them off the sides of the ship and then eventually the gateway seals. <laughs> how, how many did I manage to catch? A couple dozen. In a, a, okay. Cool. Okay, well, that was fun. Well, let me see him. What'd I you get there? Frog. Some three eyed what? Are they in a bucket or something? Tobias, yeah. you stare into the bucket. No, I only these... pulled one out. I didn't let them out because I didn't want them oh. jump, to jump out. So I, I opened it up and pulled one out and then closed it again. Okay. And she's holding a six legged, three eyed, froggy looking thing that just mm -hmm. looks between you and fire and goes, Do you mind letting me go, please? Oh, gross. Whoa. We're going to eat you. And I put him back in the bucket. <laughs> and then you hear like 24 unified voices. We'd really appreciate it if you'd let us out. Well, I want to eat you. Fire, they're sentient beings. Oh, Are yeah. We got to get. Here, let me help you. We eat beans. <laughs> <laughs> I eat scented beans. Maybe somebody should check fire's intelligence level. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll let him go. Uh, I'm gonna let him go off the side of the ship in the bucket. I just drop it off. Oh, <laughs> come on! As you drop it, and the bucket kind of tumbles and they come it spilling opens. out. Um, you notice that little wings, little reptile wings, appear on them, and they kind of float off in different directions. Okay, fine, whatever. Dang it, this place is going to hell in a hand, hand basket anyway, huh? I wanted so you wasted to eat the bucket. One. I couldn't even have a damn ship with an air <laughs> elemental in it without you guys throwing a fizzy fit. And now you want to keep some talking toad? <laughs> no. I mean, he has a point. Dimension. He has a point. I just want to get to this island so this crazy shit stops happening. Yeah, I gotta work on being a pirate. I can't be doing this stuff, saving the world stuff the whole time. Maybe Tobias needs a nap. So how many points of exhaustion do no. I have? You have four. four. Okay. Better sleep it off. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Saying, sleep it off, kid. It. We'll let you know if something goes down. Not that you can help. I'll call you for the next deck scrubbing. All right. Um, can I... Nobody can rides I... for free. <laughs> can I send out Pepper to check out... <laughs> What's ahead of us to make sure we don't have anything else weird coming up? Yeah, um, Pepper's flying out and about. Um, I mean, <clears throat> at certain intervals, little astral gates appear, some very small, some large. Um, creatures coming in and out. Some are kind of just bizarre feathered creatures or leathery winged creatures. You watch as a swarm of cloakers come into the daylight and immediately just gets shredded and disintegrated by the daylight effect. Um, it's this strange menagerie of things coming and going. Okay. Get it. Get it, because it's chaos. Get it? I get it. We got it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <I get> it. <laughs> so, mid-morning turns into afternoon. This continues on and on into the evening. Um, as we reach the evening time, anybody want to do anything before we start another long rest? Uh, yeah. I want to oh, blow my uh, three high-level spells. Oh, this is going to hurt, guys, if we get attacked in the middle of the night. What are you blowing? Uh, <laughs> my seventh, <laughs> eighth, and ninth spells. I'm, I'm no, blowing know, my but... seventh, eighth, and ninth spells on Greater Resto. Oh, I see. You can cast them using a higher spell slot. And mm. you can cast your lower spells using a higher spell slot. Mm -hmm. If you do it now, it'll probably just give her... Three more spells. Uh, three more levels. Three so more it would take her 8, points. 9, 10, 10 11. 11. It would take okay. her up to 11. Okay. okay. 
So. And I also say it gets rid of three points of exhaustion as well. Oh, nice. Because nice. she only requi acquired the exhaustion once she hit seven. When she got to seven, that's what, you know, that's kind of the transition occurred and she took on all that exhaustion from the debilitating effects of the what happened to her. Um, so I'll say okay. you have one point of exhaustion and you have 11 points of intelligence restored. So you're only down two intelligence points, right? And exhaustion is one. So by the time I wake up, I'll be fine. Yep. Not on the intelligence points, but definitely not on the intelligence. Yeah, the just on the, sure. yeah, just the exhaustion. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we eat. I'm, I'm going to write in my journal about this. Um, dear diary. I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I almost mm -hmm. ate a sentient frog if it wasn't for Tobias. <laughs> what is eating a sentient? Exclamation! Three exclamation! Exclamation! Six-legged frog. I really wanted to try those frog legs. It would be great because it would have been funny to like. Hey, no, nah, he's not actually screaming. It's just, it's just gas releasing. Gross. You know, <laughs> he doesn't actually feel anything when you drop him into the boiling water. Exactly. You're yeah. boiling me to death. That's gas escaping. <laughs> He's not really saying. <laughs> You're cutting my legs off. Cats are horrible. Yeah. Jams it on a skewer, puts it over the fire. It's screaming yeah. the whole time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Help me. Put an end to my pain. Please kill me. I mean, to be fair, I would kill it before be I put it on the spot. You know, fine. Would you? Would you? Would you really? Or just yeah. eat them whole? Yeah. As yeah. he dissolves in your stomach acids, we could hear a muffled scream. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. As he's going down his throat. <laughs> no, no, he'd suffocate before then. As he slides down your throat, you can Damn, hear him Mar screaming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so anyways. So anywho. I feed my uh, light, light bugs again. My... Um, insects. I check in with a teal using my locket. Doesn't have to be a full conversation, just like a, hey, yeah. checking in. How's it going? Seems like she spends a good deal of time telling you that weird things are happening. Strange uh, yeah, tell creatures me about it. <laughs> that they've never seen before are appearing from time to time. I tell um, her about the three legged frogs or the six legged frogs. Oh, yeah, we, um, we, we saw some of them as well. Um, uh, uh, they talk. Yes. Um, Fire one there's also one. flying snakes. And, Their legs are delicious. Um, <laughs> no, they are not. I did, they scream when you try to kill them. I really want sure. a flying snake. Oh you can't hear God, this conversation. No. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah. There's a no pets allowed on the ship thing, by the way. <laughs> it, there's a, it's clearly marked. If that was the case, we wouldn't have you. And my bumpers. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> I tie myself to the deck and flip upside down. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god, that's great. Um, I could have fed those little bugs all right, to him. Sit, let's okay. make a watch then. Oh yeah, because that's. Let's just do the watch. same watches. Except Asborn same is watches. not allowed on a watch. Fair point. He can scrub the deck on his watch. So who can do a watch by themselves? I'll do a watch by myself. Uh, no. 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 no, no actually, let's it. not do. <laughs> let's not do the same watches. Let's separate Mara and Tobias. Okay. How about this? What? I'll do the watch. Are you by trying myself. to say? I'll do the watch by myself what? first because I've got nothing pepper. happened. Dyson and Mara together, and then Fire and Tobias together. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go first. Okay. So, uh, uh, Samara, go ahead and give me a uh, um, perception. perception check during the beginning of your watch. Don't forget, if you want to change out spells, change out your spells for in preparation of uh, a long so tomorrow. rest. Once again, I am at a an eight, and Pepper is at a sixteen. Okay. Um, you guys do pets. Are you the only ones on watch? Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, three hours goes by. Just the normal chaotic scene playing out. Um, nothing too major happens. Just you kind of steering the ship away from different opportunities that look rather strange. Or um, And some creatures that appear can't fly. They literally like fall through the door. You can hear them screaming in agony and pain as they plummet the 500 feet to the ocean below. Um, it's unfortunate. It's just, it's just this massive no. chaos of things opening and closing. Whatever comes out of the plane of water, I bet you was really happy right now. Yes. <laughs> That's I'm fair. I'm going to just continue on and then go wake up the next watch. Okay. Who's taking the next watch? I think that was. Uh, I'll do it. So thanks and Mara. And Mara. Okay. Um, is Mara back yet? I don't know. She kind of disappeared, and I didn't get a comment, so I wasn't sure what she was doing. She was talking to someone off screen, like five minutes before she left. So she's okay. probably doing something. That's fair. Thyson, give me a perception check. I'll just do it by myself. It's fine, brother. Can't your homunculus do a perception check too? Yeah, but you know he's a little fuzzball. Uh, yeah, but every every 17. little bit helps. Yeah, seventeen. Seventeen. Um, your watch goes by pretty much without any specific problem or concern. Um, uh, seeing the same things over and over again. Um, who's taking third watch? Tobias and I. Okay. You and Tobias, go ahead and give me perception checks as you take the final watch before you start the final day of travel towards the island. 24. 24. Tobias. Um, sorry, I'm getting my character sheet up. And I have Ember come out perception. too. Okay. So, 20, 32. Ember. Um, Ember gets... Oh, perception is what? Wisdom? Uh, Ember got a 19. Okay. What'd you get, Tobias? A 32. 32. Um, the night, the last bit of the late night, early morning activity seems to go by quite nicely. In fact, you no longer Too see nice. the chaos that was happening before. It's all kind of drifting past you, almost like you've crossed through some kind of transi transitional area. Um, as the sun begins to come up over the edge of the horizon, way off in the distance, down in the ocean, you can see what looks to be the island of Chandra. Um, it's it's a sizable island. It is maybe, maybe five to ten miles off the coast of the shore. Um, you can see the huge jungle scape off to the left that is the mainland area of the wilds between Zorhash and uh, the Menagerie Coast. <clears throat> As the final day of travel is here, and you're gradually heading towards the island down below. Okay. Everybody's now awake. You can click <laughs> off a long rest. <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice again. Asborn. Help so, Asborn, Asborn uh, you can get rid of your point of exhaustion. Yeah. Everyone else get their spell slots back. Be sure to swap out any spells that you might want to swap out to. Yeah, I'm working on that. Yeah, same. And what would you guys like to do? Uh, mm. When will we reach the island? Is it the end of today? Uh, is um, it... You feel like you've gained some time. Um, it uh -huh. feels like you'll probably get there by the afternoon. Okay. Well, we're not going to be ready, so do... we can slow down a little bit. So I'm missing I wanna two do... points of intelligence still? Yeah. Correct. Okay. I want to do a hero's feast. Good call. Well, Good wait call. a minute. Wait, wait a minute. So what? we want to do that right before we go, right? Yeah. Because I can slow down the ship so we can get Asborn up and running. Right. She needs more rest. I mean, she's got, what, three points of exhaustion, right? No, no. she's done with I'm the exhaustion, exhaustion. And now she just needs the two points. And if I give her um, one of greater resto and Sam gives her one greater resto, well, 
Sam, I probably have more spell slots than you do, so maybe I'll just do both of mine. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's wrong, buddy? All right, so as long as we're going to be all up and... Operational. You're 100% you're 100 operational. <clears throat> hey, yo, you good? Oh, I think so. They eat your brain, man. You good? Uh, do I remember anything from my, my brain eating experience? I mean, you remember being in that dream state, but that's mostly faded by now. Mm -hmm. You remember kind of existing at like a very basic level and you had a hard time understanding what people were saying. But as of this morning, you're feeling normal again. Okay. So I'm back to full intelligence. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do I remember having to sweep the deck? No, probably not. Ah, you got away this time, Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> Scott hey. Fugie. Brimstone pipe weed or ass. Nobody flies for free, okay? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> or hard work scrubbing the deck. Okay, so, yeah, I, I do the, yeah. So, there's two of That's my great That's so shiny ways. now. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's mad. <clears throat> Give me love. I'm tired. Give me attention. I'm tired. <laughs> Let me punch you in your boobies. <laughs> it's really All funny because right. he'll start headbutting her and like smacking her like <laughs> what he's ready to eat. Uh -huh. He knows. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi, everybody. What's up, Bash? Hi. I'm so cute. <laughs> uh. I'm so cute. I get to hang out with him in person on Monday nights. Aww. He's That's fun little true, dude. He's a fun little dude. He's always happy. He's always yeah. smiling. He's always <laughs> happy, man. That kid's crazy happy. So morning is beginning to drift into early afternoon. Anything you guys want to do as you approach the island? And by I, the way, this is yeah. not the island you suspect that the Qualish is kept on. This is just a physical island that you think is near that point. I this thought we a, were guiding our way towards there. You were in that general direction, but the magic of the scry and the ability to precisely understand where that particular uh, island construct was, was being blocked out by um, voided magic spots, making it difficult. The Maybe you could do it now. The physical island was the one that you felt was drawing you closer to the region that you believed it to be in. Well, maybe okay. try scrying now and see. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll. I'll do that. Give me intelligence save first, Samara. Okay. I'm gonna slap myself with a guidance. Okay. Can I use guidance for saves? Let me look. Uh, check. No, it's only for ability checks. Never mind. Okay. Um, intelligence save. Yep. Okay, intelligence. Not great. That is a 13. 13. Take 84 points of psychic damage and your spell fails. Well, Sheesh. I have a big headache now. And no, that did nothing. Ow. Yeah. Uh, let's not do that again. Don't feel good. Huh. Whoops. I have a question, DM. Hmm. I was digging through my notes, and apparently I have Breath of the Wild Mother, and I wrote down advantage on psych saves, but that's not a thing. Does it, did I mean wisdom saves? Is that what it was? No, you have resistance to psychic damage. Resistance to psychic damage. Thank you. All right. right. Cuz what kind of damage was that that I got? Um, ooh, that would be psychic damage, so you can have that. Sweet. Uh, how many points was it? Uh, 82. 
So you Eight. took 41 points. So let me give 41 points back. All right. That feels better. <laughs> Other thoughts since uh, that didn't work? Uh, uh, let's uh, poke around. See what we on see. On the island? No. Flying around above and around the surrounding area because okay. it was in this general vicinity, right? I think. I mean, general vicinity could mean anything. Um, how far does this have to be? Oh, it's a thousand feet. He could be way further away. I was going to say a locate creature would help, but he might be further. Yeah. I'm still trying to see what spells I want to do. I gotta pick another spell. Hey, you're not helping. <laughs> anyone else on the team have ideas? Yep. Anyone? Ideas? Thoughts? We're stuck. On what? I can't go. try on them. I mean, currently oh. the ship is 500 feet up in the air. You're looking down on the edge of the Chandra Island. Um, you can see a rather large coastal community on the island. Um, wow. there's, there's a jungle, like a large jungle scape, some mountain ranges. Looks to be a very active volcano uh, <clears throat> near the center of the island as well. Um, you can see large fishing vessels out, uh, you know, off the coastal region of the island. Um, Looks like at least somebody lives there. I want to bring up my magic goggles and see if I can see magic. Um, you can. You can pretty much see magic e everywhere. But the way the veil's weakened, the goggles are just having a chaotic effect. Um, it's almost like um, looking through night vision goggles during the day. It just kind of flares and doesn't really kind of like identify anything specifically. Do we want to land? Do we want to fly around? Um, it doesn't look like this is going to be the island. I think we could keep going to, to one of the other islands. All right. Well, we can, or we can go talk to the community and you know, see if they notice anything about the island that's changed. Well, I'm sure they noticed a lot of things that have changed. Atiel noticed things that have changed. She's like yeah. all the way on the other side of the, yeah. I mean, anything other than what that we've seen. I feel like fire. Do you want to try and scry? I'm that would just give not us a as cool... good at it. Sure, but you got quite a headache. Uh, so it's gonna be great. Could, could I cast on you? Um, what's it called? Hold on. Hold up. I think I have something. What is? Uh... Oh, never mind. It doesn't protect against psychic damage. Okay. Well, I'm gonna pull out my gem of scry. And... The gem explodes in your hand. Really? What? As you invoke it, you feel it shatter. And as the flakes of the gem drift up, they're immediately absorbed into the air. They just quickly disperse into the air. I'm sorry, Fire. I'll buy you another one. <sighs> okay. Oh, try, try, try your light bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You're so creepy, Tobias. Personally, now, I'm laughing, yeah. but Samara has a deadpan face looking at Tobias. <laughs> you know it's funny, Sam. Don't, don't don't try to lie. Don't lie to yourself. It's the worst thing you can do. Uh, <sighs> all right, well. All right. All right, you know, I'm going to head down. I'm going to head down to the community. We can talk to him for a minute. Hopefully they're cool. Yeah, hopefully they're real. Uh, you know also, what? We've um, killed a lot of things. Ship, as the ship begins to lower towards the island shore. Uh, everyone go ahead and give me perception checks. Okay. 
as one. I got 26. 20, no, 23. I got an I got a natty. I got a natty 20. I got a 12. 24. 30. I forgot a 14. Anyways, I got a Not five. What I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> just, just staring off at that storm, fixated on it. Ember got a five as well. Okay. So as a group, as you, <clears throat> with the exception, <clears throat> God, the exception of Thyson, as the ship lowers and lowers down to about the 80 foot height range, you can now see the vis the fishing vessels. Um, they're kind of bobbing up and down, um, but the people in the vessels are frozen stiff. Like they're just smiling and fishing without moving. You drift a little closer to the shoreline and people are pulling on nets to the shore, but they're frozen in place, almost as if they've been uh, kind of like held there in place. You could see small indigenous children like playing along the beach, but you know, they're frozen in place, frozen in time. You could see smoke curling up from the village chimneys and from this what looks to be a very large fishing community um, with some other residential structures and large main building structures as the vessel kind of settles in looking down. It's almost like an entire community just frozen. At the very center of the community, you can see a pulsing light kind of emanating out from the center of the village. It, now, when you say the smoke is coming out of the chimneys, is the smoke moving or is the smoke also frozen? Smoke is moving when the birds kind of flutter in, clouds of insects. Everything seems to be moving but the people. As we get closer, do the people look like they're still fresh? Or are, they... are they alive? Yeah. Hard to tell from 80 feet in the air. All right, once we get closer. I don't know if we want to land. Can we just fly over to where that pole uh, is? So they make it look like a village is, is functioning, but it's really not. Okay, this is the place. Yeah, fly towards the glowing thing, Tobias. Okay. Or do we want to walk? Wait, how far away is the glowing thing? Um, you guys are on the beach shore. The interior of the village is maybe a couple thousand feet. We could probably... I don't know if we want to walk that. If we touch the ground, we may freeze too. Only one way to find out. I don't know. Well, you want to... What's up to you guys? You want to go in stealth? or I mean, I think Priority knows we're here. You could tie a rope to me. I could wild shape down and touch the ground. And if I freeze, you could haul me back up. And okay, hope so that gonna... we can unfreeze you? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, unless you have um, another idea. I'll go down lower uh, away from the village a little bit and see if she can set down there. If people are creepy frozen out that way. Are people creepy frozen out that way? Out which way? Away from the village. I mean, wherever you could see people from this height in your current position, they look to just be frozen in time. Okay. You're, the vessel's just hovering in the bay. See a strange pulsing light a couple thousand feet into the very center of the village. The fishing vessels are bobbing in the water, but the people are just frozen. They're holding fishing poles, holding nets. Children are playing. It's almost as if everyone's carrying on with their normal day, but they're f just frozen in time. Do they have those bug insect things stuck to their heads? Hard to tell from this height. <laughs> but I feel Except like with the we bug weren't... insect things, we were like asleep. I was just going to say that we weren't we weren't continuing on with our frozen continuing on with our day. We were asleep. Yeah. Mm. All right. Just pulsy glowing light. Let's go check out the pulsy glowing light. Okay. okay. So just fly over. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll do a flyover. We see if we can see what that pulsing light is. Okay. You guys cause the ship to move forward. 
As it moves forward, it crosses over where all the um, um, stilted huts are and some of the ground buildings are all made of kind of like local material, natural environment material, either like stone or uh, uh, jungle style trees and, and, and kind of thatching to match the surrounding um, uh, forested organics. Um, drift, 500,000. So you get right near the center and looking down the center of the village, there is a large mass that's just kind of undulating in the space at the very center of the village. Hard to tell for sure what it is. It looks to be made of flesh of some sort. It's pulsing yeah. with different colored lights. You could see tendrils coming off of its form in the thousands. And the tendrils seem to just kind of move out into different areas of the village. Tyson, do you recognize that? I feel like you know the weird magics. Look over at it. Um, Give me a nature check as you stare at it. Oh, yeah, I'm so good at nature. <laughs> uh, Non-natural 20. I mean, it has the characteristics of a hive mind, but its overall form looks strange. It's almost like a oversized jellyfish. Um, it, and it's not really like anything you've ever seen before, but plane of your travel and things that exist in other planes of existence are practically infinite. Um, it's definitely not something that you would recognize from this world. Can you banish it? Something is something foreign. It's like we need to learn from our mistakes and just banish everything. Exactly. Look alive to me. That, yeah. Does it look alive to me? It definitely looks alive. Like it's pulsing with kind of like a respiratory kind of action. The flesh expands out, sucks in. You watch as a tendril comes out and just goes out into the village and you lose sight of it. I'm going to try and banish it at fourth level. Okay. Is there a range restriction on that? I mean, I'm targeting it. It's a 60 foot range on the main body. So you gotta get within 60 feet of it. Oh, oh, is it? Are we not next to it? I thought we were next to it. No, you're hovering up 80 feet above the village. So I'm looking back. down into the center. So you're at least 80 feet away. Glad you're here. Asborn, get a rope. Dangle me down like 20 feet. Excuse me? <laughs> get a rope. Dangle me down like 20 feet. Uh, can I get some context? I just got back from helping with groceries. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a massive flesh pile down there, and I want to uh, banish it. Okay. But he has and to be within 60 feet. And we're 40, and we're 80 feet. Okay, I'm going to yeah. start rigging a rope to the side of the ship. What about what about doing that with your homunculus instead? <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Famous last Okay, words. if anything, I can teleport <laughs> yeah, him out. Shit, right? It's okay. Okay. Okay, so Asborn, you tie off the rope. Mm -hmm. You wrap the rope around Thyssen's waist and you begin to lower him down uh, to get within range of the creature. Yep. Thyssen, as soon as you get within that 60 foot range, you feel every magical item on your body go inert. Oh, shit. Mm, Anti magic field. Do we see anything weird happen? Nope. Okay. So we're just like, oh, cool. He's still going. I'm going to climb back up like one foot. You feel your items come back into existence? There's all, it's, it's, it's bubbled. Can't banish it. Bubbled. What does that mean, bubbled? Can we pop it? Anti-magic bubble all around it. Well, pop it. <laughs> <laughs> Very helpful. That's totally helpful. Make the anti-magic field. Good, like dispel it or whatever you do. Sure, I'll try no magic. Yeah, okay. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do. Don't. Do, I don't think that'll make it go away. Make sure. Tobias shoot it. Dispel magic has no magic because I have anti magic field, and dispel magic has no effects such on the sphere. You can't. You can't. 
it doesn't it doesn't stop it guys can you kill it's it with something that's not magic can you kill it with kindness yeah, no i was thinking kill bullets it with daggers i have daggers <laughs> Level 19 is wasted on all of you. <laughs> it really Absolutely is. wasted. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys have actually regressed. You're back in your I level have. 5 box. I've had a bit of a rough day. <laughs> well, probably shouldn't be playing tonight. <laughs> to be fair, as soon as something made me magic, I got, I got nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing this ship around. Time. No, shoot it. Shoot it. What? Shoot, shoot it. The thing. Oh, you it's, want me to shoot the thing? So just shoot it. <clears throat> um, like you've got really long range, right? I don't know how yeah. this one. I get out my rifle because it has my a five hundred and eighty something foot range. The, the bullets my are magic, magic right? field. Not all okay. of these bullets are magic. Yeah, use use your not. not magic um, well, the bullet will still go through. It's just not going to be magical. Yeah, that's fine. Just gonna waste we just want to see if we can. We can snipe We're it from gonna here. poke the bear, guys. If it comes up and that magic field envelops our ship, so we does fall. a twenty-three. Does a twenty-three hit? Am um, I muted? No, yeah, we, we can hear you. <laughs> they, yeah, I just don't think ignoring you. Hit, We're just not listening to it's you. It's like anymore. it's like Tobias is lining up the shot and he pulls the trigger while you're like yelling in his ear. <laughs> guys, that anti magic that anti magic field will make our ship fall out of the air. Hey, we're not going towards ignored. it. We're using are... the long range okay. rifle thing. If it moves my... up. I'm sorry. I have this thing called fun. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would it move? Dyson says because this as he's dangling it. off the side. Let's just <laughs> oh, let's just right. try. As, as, I've as already your fired. Rifle goes off. I yeah. pull out my tinder fist. Watches fist. the round corkscrews <laughs> into the creature's side. <gasps> it makes kind of like a. It's almost like you're shooting into Jello. Just. Uh -huh. Makes a splat sound. Uh, go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. Um, Everyone get ready to fly. <laughs> yeah, that tensor's disc won't work either. <laughs> Put it back. This whole anti-magic thing is just so mean. Stop oh, doing well, that. The, the magics are confusing. <laughs> it's not that confusing. It's so, there. <laughs> And so 17, 17 points of damage. 17. Um, it, it takes the hit. No sneak it, attack? Well, you know what? It's my first hit. I could do... Let me do my... Uh, you can do sneak attack. I can do my sneak attack damage. Yeah. How many hit points does this ship have? And is it... Not enough. <laughs> It's one d six per so 28, feet, po 28 more points of damage. Uh, twenty eight more points. Um, yeah. Total of uh, forty three. Um, you watch as the tissue and the and the matter that makes up its form kind of sprays away from the damage. Mm -hmm. You watch as a single tendril that was kind of like out in the village, kind of gyrates to almost reacted by it. And at the end of the this tendrils, it's pulling itself back in is one of the inert bodies. And you uh -huh. watch as it just pulls it into its form. It absorbs the body. And then you watch as the wound kind of seal regenerates. Not completely. Okay. Did it just use that person's life force to heal itself? It did. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yeah, gross. Um, okay, I want to fly out to the village. You're in the middle of the village. Okay. Well, I want to fly. I want to find where there's a tendril attached to a person. How big are the tendrils? I'm not very much. I mean, just kind of like a traditional ivy, you know, like just a very thin kind of, I mean, less than maybe two, three inches around. So could like um, usually cut through one? Certainly try if you want Theoretically. to. Theoretically. So I want to try to shoot one off of the person to see if the person is like, a normal up. person, or is it like a, a like some kind of it's gonna be thing that this shot. thing's making? It's gonna be a heck of a shot. Well, from... so hold on, hold on. Before you do that, so Tyson, when you entered the magic cone or whatever it was, you didn't fall inert, right? 
Uh, just his magical... No. He only noticed it because his magical items that he's attuned to suddenly just were inert. So, theoretically, one of us could enter this area and not be inert and cut off a tendril? It's not the physical person. What if you... The problem is... The if you anti-magic foot on field there. means that spells and any item right. you possess that has magic won't work. The right. problem is if you get closer, a tendril could get you. Well, if a tendril gets you, now what's going to happen? Yeah. Then we that's, have a different plan. <laughs> We're yeah, going to let you stay on the out. island and live there forever, and we're going to hey, go uh, back. Hey, and... Mara, roll for enfeeblement. Well, I didn't what? actually do it. <laughs> <laughs> Transforming. Like every... What? what? <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? Remember we were on that ship, and there were the little ghost children or whatever, and there was like uh, a thing? Right. That's what this reminds me of. Right. Well, that's why I want to see if it's if it's part of the actual structure Except of the beast or is it or is it did person. the tendrils go out and attach themselves to real villagers so right. let's sail away and find a skinny tendril well, that's what i'm trying to do yeah so like, Tobias pulls the ship out of the center of the village back towards the beach there's dozens of individuals on the beach with tendrils attached to them uh, that you can now see because you're focused in on it are there um, any loose tendrils not that you can see no Okay, I want to sh pick one person that's got a tendril and shoot the tendril off of them. Okay, roll to hit. Are you using your rifle or your pistol? I'll use my rifle. Okay, go for are it. Are we still in an anti-magic zone? No. Well, no, how you're close, outside how close of, are we? You're back to being uh, three, 4,000 feet away from the center of, t of the village. You're right, back but how at close, the beach. Right, but how close are we to the tendril? Uh, that's up to you guys. You're, I, I've been nice. keeping you at 80 feet unless you tell me otherwise. Okay. 80, 80 feet's an easy okay. shot for this thing. It's not even... Yeah, thank, yeah. I okay. think 80's fine. Well, that's fine. My get... Most of my spells oh, uh, ranges two is uh, 240, so... So I got a... 15, 14, 15. I got an 18 and a... Uh, 25. Uh, 28. Okay. Uh, the 28 hits the tendril. Go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. Don't forget double Tobias, da double Tobias damage. Is oh, that that's right. I didn't even double the last damage I did. Yep. And it would have sectioned in two people to heal itself. Um, so, uh, did you get a sneak attack on this one? Yeah, yeah, you can use sneak attack if you want. Take one of those away. And... Let me just double check my sneak attack, because it, it gained... It gained in its attack. Sneak attack. Okay, 8d6. Okay. And then 2d8. And then... I mean, these tendrils Math are relatively rocks. weak. Yeah, and... I mean, you can just roll basic damage. You're probably going to destroy it. Okay, no problem. I'll just roll basic. I'm mostly damage. just making you roll to make sure your gun doesn't jam. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, just... Trust me, I know it's fun rolling 52 dice, but 20... your math skills have me suspect. Whatever, 20, <laughs> 20 points of damage. Yeah, you guys watch as Tobias aims. <laughs> the rifle goes off. You watch as the round arcs, <laughs> smashes into the tendril shreds the tendril and the tendril that was connected to the person falls away and immediately shrivels up the person standing look around confused starts screaming and running and then out of the edge of the forest another tendril comes shooting out slams into the person running and wraps around and then the person's frozen running as if they're screaming and running but not actually moving okay mm -hmm. Well, yeah. so now we know yeah. they're people. We're going to be screwed if we kill this island. <laughs> well, we didn't set foot uh, on yep. it. We're fine. Is this what we're looking for, though? No, we're looking for Qualish. Right. So maybe this is just, you know... A side his, quest? Yeah, this is this his way of, of deterring us from getting to him. Tempting us? Maybe. I say How far looking. away are the other islands now that we're at this island? 
Um, there's a string of them that go up the coast, so the next one's maybe two, three days away. And oh. But according to the scry, this is the area that you believe it to be. The other ones are too far out of the area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, um, why don't we try the, the, the that poison bomb? Hmm. Or around. Bomb. Remember, my I, my the creature was a floating island. Um... How big is the island across? Um, it's maybe three miles across and maybe a mile north to south. I'm gonna go ahead and let's let's do a scout. I want to go up higher, and I want to do a scout around the island to see if there's any other anomalies besides that one. Yeah, maybe that's controlling the village, but maybe he's somewhere else doing something. Right. Could I while we're while we're scouting around the island, because you said it's three miles. How many feet are in three miles? <laughs> 5,000 times three, 15,000, probably 16,000. 16,000? 16,000. 15, 16,000. So oh, basically long range for my rifle. Because I could cast locate creature and try and locate qualish, and it's up to a thousand feet as we're moving around, and it's concentration up to an hour. So I could cast it, and then for the next hour, as we're moving around the island, try and hone in on it. I mean, we could, using the airship, we could definitely circle the island within an hour, right? I mean, we can circle sure. the island because I think anything scrying or anything like that's gonna. Just do damage to you guys. So I don't as know. long as we stay within a thousand feet vertically. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. And now we got hypotenuses. <laughs> oh man. Math's going to happen. Hey, I can't even count my dice. You want me to do math? That kind of math. We gotta. We gotta use the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> yep. I thought I wasn't gonna bad. have to use that since high school. What I the love heck? the geom I love geometry. Favorite subject. <laughs> so right, should I cast one. it? You're a math person. Sure? Okay. Yeah, let's try it. So locate creature is going on. And I'm just going to be kind of concentrating in the middle of the ship. Please don't let anything hit me. So Tobias, let's go on a tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A okay. three hour tour. <laughs> a three hour tour. Hour tour. Oh, we got one hour. And one hour tour. I guess I'm the skipper. No, we're good. Never mind. Okay, go ahead. Fire's Gilligan. <laughs> Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Oh my god, I was just gonna say that. I mean, um, as, are you staying at the same height? Are you going higher, or what's the plan for the elevation of the vessels? Well, Maybe like a hundred um, feet. Just there's a like a couple yeah, like hundred feet. Yeah, hundred feet. I would say. Okay, hundred feet. Okay. In so case you guys begin like the this or kind of the like island. peripheral tour of the um, kind of the shore of the entire island. Um, since you're taking your time and doing it with a great deal of detail, you're everybody is free to either make investigation or survival. I got a twelve. I like to think that Asborn never pulled me up, and I've just been dangling off the side of the ship for an hour. I got a thirty-three. <laughs> What's this rope? I just untie it. <laughs> <laughs> What's this stray rope doing? Ah! <laughs> I got a non-natural non 20. I got a 9. Okay. I got a 23. Okay. I got a 29. Okay. Oh, Asborn, would Tobias, my, I got a 12. Okay. I got I got a 33. Okay. Is it grim psychometry with that? It's interesting. You do find other very small maybe 12 house villages that are on kind of little uh fishing stilt like on stilts pier stilts mm -hmm. to kind of deal with the tide coming and going but no sign of any people um the shoreline is also you could see um anchored are some empty dugout canoes um you can uh, you continue along and on the more rugged side, the more mountainous side of the island, it's they're like 50-foot-tall bluffs that kind of cascade down into the water. Um, no sign of anything other than just natural terrain, natural environment. 
You make your way to the leeward side of the island. There are some other beaches and coves here that are exposed. Uh, the jungle is a little bit pushed back further towards the center of the island. Um, meanwhile, the whole time, you know, you can see the active volcano in the middle of the island. Small mountains that are very much basalt and very volcanic in nature um, uh, that kind of run from certain points near the beaches and deep into the island itself. With it not being a very big island, I mean, the features are kind of sudden and very kind of obvious. Um, there's, you know, you finish that kind of hour or two that it takes to circumvent. Um, no sign of Qualish that you could tell. Uh, no sign of the strange fey creature um, that's kind of like an actual living island from what you remember it being. Even um, the bloated creature, I don't sense Qualish anywhere. Um, give me an intelligence save as you try to do that. Um, my grim psychometry will give me information about a sinister or tragic history of a current location. Uh, give me an intelligence save. On, on my, cause it's, it's with the, um, the investigation check. Uh, yep. Give me an intelligence save. Uh, 21. I have a feeling. 21. Yeah. 13. 13. So Mara, you'll take um, 64 points of psychic damage. Ouch. <clears throat> so Mara, you'll take half of 82 points of psychic damage. Okie dokie. You guys are beginning to sense a trend. Whenever you try to locate anything while near this island, the psychic rebound is intense and painful. Would it, did, I, did I save though? Or was it going to be half of half? You saved. So it'd be okay. half of half. So you um, said it was 84 or 82? 82. 82. So half of half of that. Okay. Yep. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm kind of I don't, gonna... I don't recall any, any sinister or tragic. Uh, you get no feeling that, that it... the effect worked. Nothing. Re anything, yeah. re like, anything related to locating, identifying, or scrying, or interpreting. Any kind of feat, feature spell anything related to that feels like it has this kind of rebound effect and it's Weird. like quite i'm gonna look like focused on doing psychic damage as a rebound effect Ouch. i'm gonna go, move us toward the volcano then i want to look cl more closely at the volcano okay the ship is now drifting towards the center of the island itself and you're crossing over kind of um both recent and older kind of lava fields uh, following some of the steam lines that where the lava fields have kind of ridden up against ridge lines and jungle lines and you can see the smoke and steam coming off from their movement. Um, you're in the center of the island, roughly 100 feet above the volcanic um, area where the active volcano is. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see the caldera. It's active down inside the um, it's not a particularly large volcano, but it's big enough that you can see into the bowl. And you can see the kind of like magma and lava kind of occasionally kind of coming up into the caldera. Um, and you can see fresh kind of um, lava striations on the north side of the volcano. Um, but as you sit there and hover about maybe a thousand feet to the leeward side of the volcano where there's virtually no activity coming down from it. You could see a small village um, at the base of the ridges that make up the roots of the volcano. Okay. I'll go closer to that. Drifting the ship away and over the small village. It looks abandoned, but... You swore you saw movement, like somebody was looking up in the sky and then ran and hid in one of the huts. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think we should put down, I think we should put down here. What do you think? We're just going to get caught by the tendrils, aren't we? Do we see any of the tendrils out here? Uh, not that you could see. And you're pretty far from the center of the other village. You're about a mile away from that other village. <clears throat> and how far out had we seen his tendrils? Its I mean, tendrils? it mostly appeared to be active within the village itself. 
So there no. might be a limit to okay. whatever like a thousand feet. It has. I just assumed it was like the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, we can put it down here. Let's do that. Hopefully. Is, is there a place we can put down or at least hover to get down to the ground? Um, there is a small clearing near the edge of the village. It looks like um, <clears throat> maybe where they drive fish work on nets, um, maybe over the years of, of hacking down trees and building uh, small boats to fish out of, there's there's a sizable area you could set down there. Well, I can hover about, I'll hike it, have it hover about 40 feet off the ground and we can use our tensor discs to fly, to, to float down. That's fair. To be, uh, make it a little bit more safe and secure the, the ship and everything. Okay. This takes you a little while. At this point, we're getting on to late afternoon and the the, the beginnings of early evening at this point. Right. Um, like the sun is cresting and about to set. Um, and the ship settles at the 40-foot mark. Everyone gets out their tensor discs. And is everybody going down or what's the what's the plan for going down into this little village? Oh, I'm, going down. To, well, I'm going down. We have to let's let's secure the ship. How do we drop anchor or something? <coughs> it just hovers here. Right? I mean, I've read the manual. I mean, you could... I can just have it hover, rune. right? Yeah, you can just set the rune to hover. I mean, it's going to consume... I mean, don't get me wrong. It's 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 a fun ship, but you would also know that the fuel is, like anything, expensive and limited. Oh, um, okay. Well, I'll land it then. Know. I don't care. I'll land it. Okay. So as the vessel settles into the opening, um, the propulsion system goes dormant the other systems that allow it to hover and steer go dormant you feel the hum of the ship go silent um and it's keyed it's keyed to us like nobody else can take it yeah right mm -hmm. we did that yeah the ignition he locked the door yeah <laughs> okay. I, I take out this small disc and go boop boop and boop. <laughs> does the ship honk does it make a <laughs> yeah yeah <it goes, laughs> Oh my god, I hate you all. <laughs> Be realistic. I need to know if my, my fucking ship's locked. <laughs> hey guys, did I like the ship? I don't I can't remember. I try to point it that way. Oh, oh, shake the god. shake the ship's door. Okay. And then I want to move to where I saw that guy run into the run into that hut. And stealthily we, sneak we, up on his ass. Are we walking quietly? Or are we running? Well, I know you guys can't move quietly for shit. I can cast, uh, cast without a trace. <laughs> hey, don't look at me like that. I'm shy. <laughs> Let's look at Asbor Asborn in her huge armor and, and her massive <laughs> hammer. I mean, are we sneaking, sneaking? Should I cast fast without a trace? Um, I should probably be quiet. Okay. I cast it. It wouldn't hurt if we were. Okay. I cast it. That's great. We're going to die. Pass without a trace never hurts. So disembarking from the vessel, you notice that the ground is both gravel and sand, a mixture of maybe pulverized pumice over many years and sand. So it's not, it's really, really kind of like forgiving. It's like, as you, it, I mean, Asborn, you sink to your ankle to a certain degree, in this kind of loose soil, sand, and gravel. Um, so it's not really easy on the feet. Um, you can hear the jungle sounds of the island kind of playing out around you as night is slowly coming into existence. Tobias, you look in the direction, you remember seeing the person kind of like duck inside of one of the huts. Uh, give me perception as you stare over there. I got a 23. Okay, everybody go ahead and give me stealth checks so I have an idea of how quiet you're being. Yeah. I can definitely roll high, guys. Right? 23? That's not bad. 18. I got a 20, uh, 29. Don't forget to add 10. Add 10 to your oh, roll. Oh, 39. 35. 32. See, I can be okay. stealthy. Oh, there you go. 39. Uh, 15. With the plus 10? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Mara, what'd you get? 23. 23. As a group, you're doing okay. At some point, Thyssen inadvertently trips on something 
<laughs> but because everybody else's rolls were so good, Asborn, you reach out and grab Dyson by the elbow before he falls onto one of the dry fishing racks that would have just created a huge noise. Um, but as you guys fan out and begin to approach the village, there's maybe two or three dozen huts. They're all built up on stilts. Um, you can see uh, all manner of like fishing equipment, nets being fixed or hanging on poles. There's a bunch of racks with fish drying on them, although they seem overdone, like they've been drying too long. Um, you don't see any people, but you see buckets and slowly rotting and decaying fruit. Um, you can see, um, like ovens, like bread ovens that are, that have like impossibly hardened stale bread that's been either partially eaten by local critters. It, you get the feeling like this village just was working and now it's just like kind of grind to a halt. Tobias begins to lead you towards the hut that he believes he saw someone move into. Tobias, as you get closer to it, peering through the reeds and the way the hut walls are made, you can see a small person kind of tucked in behind some crates, and they think they're doing their best to hide. Hey, we're not going to hurt you. We're here to help you. What happened here? Yeah, skin you alive. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a persuasion check as you yell that out. All right. Dyson, do you actually say that? Yes. Oh, of course I don't. Uh, <laughs> well, I love how fire put... still has persuasion. to check. I'm like, imagine you fire like alongside Dyson going, you're not really going to say that, are you? I got a 17. <laughs> 17. You watch... As a small teenage boy, very skinny, um, probably seen better days of eating, um, uh, kind oh, of comes Fire out, just wants to feed him. like leans out of the doorway and looks and sees you, Tobias. And seems startled. You shouldn't be here. It's almost. It's getting dark. Should, what happens what when happens it gets dark? It's dark. I, I'm not really sure, but every time I I wake up, it doesn't quite feel real, but. He watches, he watches the horizon as the sun maybe has about 20 minutes left to it. Well, let's, let's get back to the ship. Let's get you back somewhere where you can get some food and ship, find out was, what's going on here. That was, that, that was you guys up in the, uh -huh. in the yeah. ship. Yeah. <laughs> he climbs down. His clothes are kind of raggedy and he pulls them closer. You can tell he's been exposed to the sun. Um, yes, please, please. We need to go. We need to go now. Okay. Okay, let's so go. We'll go we'll and we won't ship. we'll be less stealthy getting back. We'll just try to get back. Okay. So is everybody Body trudging hatch. back to the ship at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Takes about ten minutes to get back. Wait, wait, wait. Insight check. <laughs> go ahead, give me an insight check. It's, it's him. Kill him. Let's get him. <laughs> it's Qualish! Get him! It's Qualish! <laughs> Whole person. <laughs> I got a I 27. Polish. I mean, he's panicked. He's terrified. He's starving. He's got the look of someone who's been abandoned and lost here for a long time. And you can even okay. see a scar on the side of his face and neck. Like maybe something was attached to him. And then it broke free or he broke free, maybe. It's hard to tell. Okay. All right. You guys clamor on board the ship as... You all get into the vessel, and you feel the vessel begin to kind of rise off the ground. Just as you get to that 100-foot mark, you watch as the sun dips. <laughs> and as the sun dips, you watch as the entire island submerges. It's immediately flooded. Within a matter of moments, the water washes over it. The entire island is gone, except for the ring of fire of the volcano, the young teenager points at the kind of like rocky protrusions of the edge of the volcano. That's that's where I hide every night. I, I would make my, I didn't make my way up there this time. I saw your ship and I thought he was coming for me for sure. Who was coming? 
the little, the little, the little strange gnome. Where does, Where he, does come he come from? from? He points at the volcano. Do I believe him? Give me an insight, insight check. If you want. Dang it, he points at the check. ring of the volcano, which is now spewing huge gouts of steam up in the air. And then you watch as Mars staring at this person with a little bit of incredulity. No, I believe him. Yeah, and then he points in the water. He watches this huge translucent creature that looks very familiar to all of you begins to slowly circle the volcanic opening that's now barely above the sea line as you recognize the fey creature that has been brought in from the other world. No sign of Qualish. And the young boy is just staring at the volcano. Damn it. As you watch something rather large crawl out of it, it leaps into the air and begins to fly away in an opposite direction. They always come out of there all night long. All night. And he just kind of gets really sullen and, and looks around and just kind of falls silent. And that's where we're, we're going to finish tonight. I want to feed him. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that was information. This is the good shit. <laughs> we, we feed him. I just want to say we feed him. No, oh, I, no, I, I'm no sure it's I already ended. <laughs> Damn it. He's still starving. He's going to start for a week now. Yeah, are we, is everybody good for next week? Um, because I know school starts next week. School starts uh, this week. Uh, school uh, starts uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Not, well, yeah, school's not everybody's. starting, therefore... That's why I'm checking. How's everybody looking for the night? Everybody well, let me check okay? my busy schedule. I think I'm, I'm good. I'm solid. Okay. Yeah. I don't All start right. until the 22nd. Okay, good. Sam, when do you start? Tomorrow. Yeah. Same, same. Okay. But she, she's a gopher. Go for this, go for that. She's not really a teacher anymore. As of right I'm now, good. yes. Get some good <laughs> shoes, girl. Yeah. Get some I good know. walking I'm... shoes. Are you covering one of those classes? No, thank God. <laughs> So we're, All right, we're everybody, thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back here next week. Uh, you can also catch us Monday nights for Pike's Promise, uh, Saturday, the Grain Lands over at D&D Club, Sunday, New Hawk Vice, or New Greyhawk Vice, uh, which is getting kind of MA, very mature rated, I think. <laughs> so if you very enjoy, mature rated. If you enjoy very Chaos of rated. the 80s and very kind of like terrifying drug situations, culture. feel free to pop in. Um, otherwise, run for the hills. And as I always like to say, be safe, be kind, play a game. It's good for you. We'll see you all next Yay. time. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.